Hello, I'm MZ Tune, and it's Tunes Day night, and that means we have a debate, a flat earth debate tonight. I have with me, uh, not in studio, but <laughs> in uh, in the house, I have uh, Chris Woods. How you doing, Chris? I'm doing good tonight, Tune. Good to see you. All right. You want to introduce yourself, let people know who you are? Uh, yeah, I'm Chris. Um just a regular guy, I guess, I suppose, you know, um, just a self-employed regular guy. All right. <laughs> Good. Um, so we are here. I, I, we met uh, on Facebook a couple weeks ago, and we set up this debate to happen today. Um, it's been three weeks that uh, we are so, right? Something like that. About, yeah, three weeks, four, somewhere in there. So, and, uh, so we have a format that that we agreed to and i will uh it's the uh four topic i i'll i'll put it i'm gonna put it in the chat the live chat for everybody and i'm gonna actually pull it up for myself so we can follow along but uh it's it's basic uh it's uh we take turns there each of us gets two turns and use five minutes to present your case a five minute rebuttal from the other side both are uninterrupted and then 10 minutes of open discussion we do that four times and then we uh, see if the audience has any questions or anything. So there you go. Oh, walked away. <laughs> All right. Uh, I uh, have, you wanted this time to, uh, to get your stuff ready. Uh, so I take it you have some, some stuff ready and you've got the screen behind you. You want to go first? Sure. All right, whatever, go ahead. All right, here, I'll go ahead and start my timer here. All right, okay, so let's get right to it. What I want to establish right off the rip is equal absurdity. Okay, I understand that it is absurd to suggest that some all-knowing, all-powerful being spoke everything into existence, but it is just as equally absurd to suggest that nothing exploded and everything came out of it. Okay, so, so let's get that on the table right off the rip and dispense with making a mockery of this because it's our position in biblical cosmology that when we're dealing with physical, our physical world, that there will be physical evidence. So as we begin to tear apart uh, this, uh, the heliocentric model, the first thing that we find is that it is just one segment of a greater theory called evolutionary theory. Okay, you cannot separate the two. All right, because I know some of you guys are out there and you believe in creation, but you also believe in the globe. You are the definition of confused, my friend, because the two cannot uh, coincide. All right. So as we look at the heliocentric model and evolutionary theory, what we realize is that, first of all, it's not even a science. It doesn't qualify because it cannot it doesn't meet the criteria for the scientific method. It is, in fact, a philosophy, ordo ab chaos, which we observe nowhere in the observable universe. Do we see order arise out of chaos? Nowhere has anyone ever set off a bomb in a junkyard and got a 747 out of that. That's by design and by design only. Okay, so before um, science wants to come across the street and start attacking biblical cosmology, you guys need to clean up your own side of the street, bro. Because the first thing you need to address is simulation theory and the multiverse theory. All right. Our model exists within both of these. Within the multiverse theory exists a, a, a parallel universes, all each of which contained in a finite sphere. Okay, so so what we do know, and what's not even in debate, is that the observable universe is a finite sphere. Period. The observable universe is a finite sphere. All right. So as far as science is concerned, there could be about six or seven different models that in different camps that y'all are split into, and none of your models can coexist. All right, but what they want us to believe is that the universe is expanding and they use a, a loaf of bread with raisins, uh, you know, in the middle to, to more or less make this case for how this is happening. Bear in mind, this has never been proven because there is no such thing as proof in science, which is another problem we have. There's no such thing as proof. Uh, you have no definitive statements. This is another problem that we have with science. No definitive statements. Everything is a theory leading to a situation where you have no actual experts. Everyone is a theoretical expert this chick is an astrophysicist the way that some of y'all are instagram models okay it's the same thing and whenever the heliocentric model gets into problems with uh laws of physics such as conservation of energy they'll just come up with neuter's theorem okay to explain why conservation of energy isn't constant 
Okay, and if that doesn't work for you, I'll give you the Lagrangian approach. Uh, you can look at it from that uh, philosophy as well. And if that's not good enough, I'll give you the Landau Lifshitz pseudo tensor. Okay, none of this makes any sense. What you guys do is constantly move the goalposts. Every 10 years or so, you come out with a new explanation as to why you were wrong 10 years prior. And this has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years now. In biblical cosmology, we deal only in constants. And one of the major ones is the ether. This is essential to our cosmology. And uh, I want to point out that when special relativity was being argued, okay, Einstein was forced to exclude the ether from his model because the michelson morley experiment did not detect the Earth moving through the ether because it detected no motion at all. So therefore, ether drag was disproven and Einstein was forced to remove the ether from his uh, model. But here we are in 2022 and sneaky, sneaky science is right back trying to bring the ether into play. But this time they're trying to call it dark energy, dark matter. And they're calling it the cosmological constant already violating their other rules of no proof or definitive statements or constants. And they're choosing to call it density. This is our model, bro. I'm calling science out on it. You guys are trying to take the ether and our model of density versus buoyancy and reintroduce it because you know it cannot be refuted, period. I don't know if I went over. Oh, the, oh you're done? Oh, did I go over? No, I did not go over. Okay. You got, you got, Thought I went over. Got 30 seconds. Bottom line is, is we deal with firsthand observations and make sense math. Okay. We deal, when it comes to the real world, we use AutoCAD. All right. We use the same software that engineers, civil, structural use. We don't use, um, you know, math magic. We don't use, um, you know, uh, tables and charts that are theoretically produced. Okay. It has to be firsthand observed and repeatable. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, well, uh, hmm. I have right here uh, the the debater's guide. So as my as my response to that, um, in the debater's guide here, this is a little uh, the the fourth edition, fiftieth anniversary edition. Right here, it has a little thing. Um, this is you know, how to debate. One of the things that uh, it, it talks about here in the beginning is that you have uh, a claim and you have data and then you have warrant. Warrant would be the, the, the logic and the description to, uh, to support that claim, tying it to the data or the evidence. Um, so unfortunately, um, all, all that so far happened was claims. So it, it, it does make it a bit more challenging for me to respond to a bunch of claims because I was, you know, I typically would hope to have some some evidence to, to pull it together. But um, <clears throat> the claim of, of Ether, I, I guess, would, would be um, one that I can address. Michelson-Morley experiment did not measure no movement. It measured no Ether. It ex they were expecting it in, in the hypothesis. They did not... Uh, find it. The uh, experiment has been reproduced many, many times and to finer and finer uh, precision and every time the same result. So it's repeatable. They did not measure ether. Um, same guy, Michelson, along with Gale and Peterson, or Pearson? Pearson, I think. Michelson, Gale, Pearson. Um, they did another experiment later, about 1926, that uh, measured the rotation of the Earth using the Sag Sagnac effect. Um, so they didn't measure no movement. They, in fact, did measure movement, the same guy, using a, a different orientation of the interferometer. So if the assertion is that the Michelson-Morley experiment did not measure any movement, then how does the Michelson-Gale experiment that did measure movement work? Because the two of them together work as predicted by relativity. Um, how do they work together as predicted by the ether? I have no idea. I've never heard an explanation for that, so I would love to hear a uh, <clears throat> explanation for that. Let's see, finite sphere of, of the universe. Well, certainly that is the, the cosmic... Um, 
cosmic background radiation is is a good confirmation of that and the distance to that is is pretty well empirically uh, confirmed um so i guess i would totally agree with that um this isn't about evolution or big bang uh, so won't be addressing those it's not really my topic too much so hmm what else the the dark energy dark energy is not ether nobody thinks that the cosmological constant is not ether um i don't know why that was asserted but i guess if you had some something to support that claim other than just make the claim that'd be good um and dark energy density that i don't know how that has anything to do with it it um i guess i guess maybe we can expand on what that particularly is supposed to mean by just saying dark energy density it, it's a little um non sequitur i guess would be would be a good way to put it so um hmm, i guess i'm looking forward to the back and forth so i will end it there and uh, we can move to our uh 10 minute open discussion if you want i'm you, you curious um uh, how you uh can separate the issue of of evolutionary theory as a whole from the heliocentric model how can you say that one's not relevant to the other and that they are not in fact the same well I, I i suppose i suppose i could i could i could cite uh dr danny faulkner who wrote this book who is uh employed by answers in genesis yeah i think if you know anything about answers in genesis you'll know that they are a young earth creation uh organization a rather stringent biblical literal organization not something I, I necessarily agree with myself but um they do not support flat earth at all they don't see a problem with young earth creationism and the earth being a sphere so there's there's one but but uh how do i do that i i, I that's how i do that i i don't i don't see that they're connected and you haven't made a case that they are so no need to uh, okay well, no need uh, to we'll respond with, let's let's start with the uh with the sequence of events um uh in in the uh heliocentric model uh you have for example uh the sun predates the earth in the heliocentric model am i correct yeah okay well in the creation model the earth predates the sun in fact light predates the sun okay so uh, what we find is that in the evolutionary model the sequence of events is not only different from the creation model, but it's in fact opposite, exactly opposite. So okay, well, I, I don't care uh, to try and to try and separate uh, the two is is not going to work. Uh, this is very much an issue. It's one segment. The heliocentric model is only one segment of evolutionary theory. It's it. It's one segment. So, so okay? you say. No, no. So That's it is just said another, by the proponents and by those who define. No, I mean, just, this is not a debate. Claim. That's not a claim. That's a fact. Oh, okay. And and I understand so that the singularity claimed, now you've Big claimed Bang, it's a claim and you've this, claimed it's a fact. It's more oh, claims. That's that's the best you can do is say that that's just a claim. What? It's your, because it's you have your, thousands of, it's, of viewers right now. It's your claim. That, that's the best you can say is that it's a claim. You, that's the best you can come up with is to yes. say that I'm making a, a baseless that claim. which we, that which can be asserted without <laughs> evidence can be Fantastic. dismissed without evidence. All right. Well, I'll let the I'll let the so, jury decide on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Do you have any evidence to support your claims? Oh yeah, I mean, uh, what what do you want? Which part of well, it do you want? How about how about what part of the Michelson Morley experiment did they conclude that well, the no, Earth no, was no, not no, moving? Don't change the subject. We were no, no, no. We're talking about evolution. Don't oh, change the subject. We'll I'm not talking Michelson about evolution Morley. tonight. We'll get to Michaelson Morley. But, this but, isn't no, no, about no, evolution. This is about the shape of the Earth. This is very much about it because what this is, this is an issue of God hating. What this is is an issue of people who hate God so much that you're willing like, to change and move like this the goalpost every few years. You're like willing to plug for some church that you don't even back. You don't support these people, but you're willing to plug for this them guy because because the, they this, this hate God probably just as much as you do. This guy does. Got it. Okay. Is he not? So is, gonna, he not you're, you're is he not Scott? Is he not a Scotsman either? Is he not a Scotsman? <laughs> Why are you plugging? Why are you plugging for a religious organization? Because you're, because you are scientist. you have just made a claim, and and. My claim is that, makes, is that the heliocentric he model is one segment of evolutionary theory, and you're telling me that's baseless? You are insane. Cool. You're cool. a liar right. at this point. Cool. Go ahead. A any support then? Uh, yeah, okay. Everybody knows, bro, that the heliocentric model is one segment of evolutionary theory. I mean, okay, I'm moving bro. right along because the best okay, you bro. got is to call me baseless. 
You, you got nothing for that, bro. You got nothing. We can move along. Sure, Let's talk sure, about bro. the Michelson Morley experiment. Let's talk about the Michelson Morley experiment because right. the Michelson Morley experiment was supposed to detect the motion of the Earth, but it detected no motion whatsoever. Oh, what? Now what, you want to bring up some page, subsequent? What page? What page did it say it was trying to uh, uh, detect okay, the motion so you're of the aware, Earth? You're, okay, well, let's go ahead and draw out how it. How, let's go ahead and draw it. I'll go ahead and uh, give a visual for everybody real quick of the Michelson Morley experiment and how it was set up. Okay, so what we had with the Michelson Morley experiment. Well, I just have it on screen right now. A round table. Okay. We have a table that was set up with the ability to spin. Okay. And what we did is we set up a prism right here. Another one here. And another one here. Okay. And what happens is, is they, they sent light into this prism and split the beam. The beam was split into two directions. Okay, the beam went and reflected off of this one that way, and this one came and reflected back. The two beams cross one another, reflecting off of the opposite points and back to their point of origin. Now, what this was designed to prove was this right here. If the two beams of light met back to this point of origin simultaneously, that meant that they were not in fact in motion. But if there were some variance in their return, then that would prove the motion. So the, the experiment was conducted in, in two different ways. Number one, it was conducted with the tabletop standing still. With the tabletop not spinning, the two beams met back at the same amount of time with perfection every time. With the table spinning, there becomes a variance because the distance that one light has to travel is slightly further than the other given the motion of the table. So by the fact that they were able to detect the motion with the table spinning, but not able to detect the motion with the table standing still proves that the earth itself was not in motion. That is what the Michelson-Morley experiment proved. And every theorem that has come along since then is not going to change that. Well, I have it on screen right now. Um, could you could you show me? Could you tell me which page of the uh, paper talked about it spinning? We've had, uh, I don't know what paper or page you're talking about, but this is the Michelson Morley experiment. Did, Anybody did you, can go and check it out for themselves. I encourage you guys you, to do your own research. Have you and read don't it? Just believe. Whatever have you done you your own research, Chris? Have oh, you yeah, read absolutely. it? Don't believe what you hear on Chris, YouTube. Have Do you read research. it? Look, Chris, this is a debate. I'm not Chris, here to be convinced. Have you rebut read? Me. Either have rebut you read? Me, either rebut me or don't. But but Chris, don't don't sit I just here and, and ask me stupid questions. Okay. Uh, is rebut this, me. Is that is that a no? You didn't. Rebut me. Did did you read it? Do I look like I showed up without doing my homework, bro? Yes, do I look you like absolutely I didn't do. My research? You absolutely do. Go ahead do. and rebut me. What you do is rebut me. Quit citing <laughs> cynics and skeptics and rebut me. I'm citing Michelson Morley. Did you read it? You're not citing anything. Rebut me. You're it's asking on, me questions. Rebut it, me. It's on screen right now, and people see my diagram and okay, your well, diagram. I can't see your screen. That's fantastic. All right. I'll take that as is. a no. You did not read it. Uh, they did not. It wasn't any of what you said. You clearly did not read it. They were not. Go do testing. your own research. Whatever this guy is showing you, I, did. I guarantee you, is not valid. So you're saying the Michelson Morley experiment that I'm showing is not valid. You know what I want you to bring up? I want you to bring up the diagram where you try and convince people that a level line is a curved line. I want you to bring that. Oh, one you up. want to change the you topic had a debate. Now. You had a debate with. OK, you're right. We'll move on to that later. We can finish this. But uh, but, <laughs> but I just want you to know I got about four or five different rounds. I want to go. With sure, sure. Uh, uh, so now. so unfortunately you didn't read it they did not spin the table like like you okay. said either present something or don't make baseless claims you can't make baseless claims well you don't know what i do you don't know my life so either i don't need to me, know your life either I, rebut I, me or don't yeah, i was but trying to but, here and but talk you, trash. i was trying to and then you inter interrupted well, go ahead and finish yeah so so there is no part of the michelson morley experiment where they spun the table while they were doing it you didn't know that that's, that's you. 
says me. Well, I mean, I have the Michelson Morley experiment on screen. Oh, is that the official? Is that the right? Oh, you have the official, right? You have yes. the official, and nobody else. Okay. Well, everybody well, else. Right. I mean, it's it's free to download. I have it on my okay, website. Okay. Well, you've rebutted me then, so then we can move on. Yeah. Excellent. So so that they did not conclude that the Earth oh, is so not moving. So your yeah, claim is they did not conclude. That's that's your rebut for me is that they did not conclude. Yeah, because I read it. There is no part in. Oh, in because the you read it. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, All right, cool. could you stop interrupting me? I let you go for quite a long time, as talking. Long as you read I mean, it, digging, that's, that's all digging that the hole that you said that you, that was pretty funny. As long as because you, you read clearly it. did not read the Michaels and Morley experiment. As long experiment. as you read it, well, yes. then I guess you read it. D does that hurt you that I read it and you didn't? No, but it, it strikes me as odd that you find that as proof. You would present that as proof that you read something on the internet. <laughs> I find were, that very odd that you, you were the one that quoting you the Michael Samorla experiment any that to anything you did I've not said. read. You have yet to rebut anything I have said. You have nothing to say. You yes, have no you refute didn't, whatsoever. You didn't cite this is above your pay grade, bro. You don't even know. <laughs> you're not even into this stuff, bro. <laughs> This is so above your head. Dude, you can't even get into evolution. It's literally on the screen right now. This stuff, bro, because, because everybody you are watching this. You everybody are watching show, bro. this. You can't even talk about philosophy. You can't that even it's talk on about the screen. Theory. And they can go to my website and download the copy themselves, mctune.net slash relativity, and they can see that what you said. What you think the Michelson Morley experiment is about? Are you going to rebut not, me, or are you going to plug for other people? I was talking, Chris. Are you that rude I that you can't? I want to hear about your links on your website, bro. Bring something to the table. Will you stop talking while I am Address rebutting you? Address the issue. Will you stop talking while I'm rebutting Address you? Address the issue. I am. Shut up. Address the issue. Shut up. Address Shut up, so I can finish my sentence, you dick. Address Shut the up. issue. Shut up. I Address will it. shut up. Got it? Shut <laughs> your mouth, dick. Address the issue, bro. Stop. Michelson Morley did not conclude that the earth was not rotating. It's on says screen who? right now. Says the Michelson Morley experiment. The not says Morley me. The experiment was a it's... failure because it did not detect any motion. Excellent. Dick. It detected no motion. All right. So it was a failure for you, but a success and a win for us. No, not at all. And you didn't address the Michelson Gale experiment, which you, you also anything. did I'm not, not read. You know what? You haven't addressed awesome. nothing, bro. Awesome. All right, dickhead. Yeah, you got I nothing. Will, I will. I will present my because we're done with our ten minutes. Uh, you think the sun is how high? Three thousand miles, right? About. I'll start the timer here. You think the sun is about 3,000 miles high. If that's the case, then we can easily triangulate using eighth grade math, which I think you're going to have a trouble with, how high it should be at any time of day if we know where the sun is at any particular time of day. On your flat earth model, you think the AE map, the United Nations map, is the accurate map of the world. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> if that's the case, then on the, the equinox, which is coming up here, then the sun on the equinox is moving around the equator. And in Quito, Ecuador, it will go right overhead in just a few days from now. We also know how far uh, the how far Quito is from the North Pole, and we know how far the North Pole is from the tropic of or from the equator on the other side. So I will sh I will share this because you need to see this. It'll be a little bit of math for you. It'll be tough, but just a second there you go so here is your map that you think is the correct map of the earth right there there's quito ecuador on the left and there it is at, at the middle of the night on the day of the equinox which is coming up here that's where the sun is it's over indonesia 12 hours after local solar noon in quito ecuador we know how far away that is it's just over uh we it's uh 180 degrees and each degree is 60 nautical miles so the total distance is 12,436 statute miles you put it into a triangle calculator using your 3,000 mile sun elevation that means in the middle of the night 
middle of the night, the sun must be 13.56 degrees above the horizon, as seen in Quito, Ecuador. But, in fact, the sun has set in Quito, Ecuador about 12 hours prior. Um, sorry, about six hours prior. So, that completely falsifies the flat Earth sun. Now, we can do the same test. I did this one in the northern solstice myself in Minneapolis. I am 45 degrees north latitude. That puts it in the middle of the night. Uh, the sun directly over Myanmar, 7,676 miles away. Again, we do eighth grade math and we get a triangle calculator. We get an ele angular elevation of 21.35 degrees above the horizon. In fact, we don't see that. In fact, the sun has set already in the middle of the night, a few hours prior. And then we can go for the, the most extreme, the most beneficial for flat Earth, at the southern tip of South America, in, in Puerto Williams, Chile. We do the math there on the uh, southern solstice, which is in December. We see that the, the uh, sun is over the Tropic of Capricorn on that day. It is 17,861 miles away from Puerto Williams in the middle of the night because it's over uh, Australia there. Look at that. You see that? Yeah, just, just peek up there. There you go. See how far? That's where, according to your map, this is your map, where the sun is in the middle of the night. And I did the math. The sun must be 9.53 degrees above above the horizon in the middle of the night, according to your map, according to your 3,000 mile high sun in the middle of the night. Now you might say, well, refraction, refraction is something. You're right. Refraction is something. Unfortunately, it doesn't help you because it causes things to appear slightly higher in the atmosphere. And I have right here, monitoring the refraction coefficient in the lower atmosphere using a control setup of simultaneous reciprocal vertical angle measurements. This measure the effects of refraction in the atmosphere this is particular in the lower atmosphere but on this page mc2.net slash refraction i have several other uh empirical measurements of the effects of refraction in the atmosphere showing that refraction causes things to appear slightly higher there you go go ahead all right um that was uh rather boring um what i want to point out first of all is that what wordsmiths like tune like to do is use radius and all kinds of degrees and various other numbers and 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 scales that the average person doesn't use on a daily basis they like to do this because they know they're going to lose you okay and and some of you are just going to be schmooze impressed okay but the whole time that he was talking uh, i want to point out that the north star has never moved in human history not once. The North Star has never moved in human history. Okay. Now, now I will admit, since he is so fond of of, of bringing up, uh, you know, the UN flag model, this, that, and the other. Look, uh, the truth of the matter is, is that nobody knows everything, and there are aspects of this cosmology that are still not uh, entirely understood. Uh, for example, and I'll be open and clear with you people about what what they are. Let me tell you what the real issue is right now that we are trying to figure out is the Southern Celestial Rotation. The Southern Celestial Rotation is the only aspect of our model right now that is mm, still not quite really, uh, really right within grasp. Uh, that's just keeping it a ban. OK, because what we do know is that the North Star remains fixed directly above Polaris always. But if we are engaged in three vectors of motion, one axial, one orbital and one vortexial, why is it that we only observe one vector of motion in the stars? In order to get a situation where the Earth were actually in motion, but you were able to see the North Star remain fixed and never move, in order for that to occur, we would actually be having to be orbiting around the North Star. We would not be orbiting around the Sun at all. We'd be orbiting around the North Star. And uh, mind you, we can't actually, I'm sorry, let me rephrase, because we can't even be orbiting. That is only one vector of motion. That would imply that the Earth is in fact static, spinning like a top between two fixed points. 
if all you observe is a northern celestial rotation and a southern celestial rotation. This uh, is, does not suggest orbital movement or vortexial movement. This suggests only axial. And this is what is crucial to understanding the geocentric cosmology is that the North Pole is at the dead center and directly above the North Pole is Polaris at all times. This never changes, okay? But if the, if the Earth were tilted on an axis with the North Star directly above it, but then it moves Brazilians of, of, of miles to the other side of the sun, it has changed its orientation dramatically to the North Star. But yet what we observe from the ground, it remains fixed and never moving. We have the same North uh, we have the same northern celestial rotation we've always had, and we have the same southern celestial rotation we've always had. We have never discovered a new area of the galaxy. Okay, we have the the, the scenery has not changed. It's not going to change. Okay, the constellations are fixed. The luminaries are called out night by night, and the North Star never moves. This right here shatters everything. This shatters everything. All you need to do is go outside and look up at the sky. Just go out and start observing your, for yourself. Go get you a Nikon P900, put you some money together, and start taking a look at these stars. Start taking a look at what we're looking at. And you're going to see that all of this garbage that they feed you is just that, garbage. You are special. You were created fearfully and wonderfully, just like this place. Many things in this life you must take on faith, but I guarantee you that the shape and nature of the world we live in is not one of them. No, Yah has not left us to nothing but faith in regard to the world that we live in. He has given us plenty of an ample proof to see that he, in fact, did create this place that we live in. Don't fall for the lie. Don't fall for the narrative. This is designed to take away who you are, to take away the idea that you are special. That's what this is all about, to make you meaningless and nothing spinning off some cosmic accident into some cosmic train wreck. Nobody driving. If there is a creator getting further and further away by the second, wake up. Wake up. I'm going to let it go right there, man. That's all I got. All right. Well, 10 minutes now. So unfortunately, you didn't even attempt to address my topic one bit so uh man that's a total failure for you but let me remind you again i know the feel i know how of, you feel of of the <laughs> uh right here so here is the topic the 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 view of the sun from ecuador now this is just eighth grade math this isn't all that fancy uh if, if it's a little tough for you maybe uh i mean i no, could teach not. you i could teach you but uh i just think I, that uh this so, is not so what's, verifiable so what's wrong what's wrong with this uh, it's, it's absolutely, repeatable. absolutely repeatable, measurable, verifiable. Uh, I can't completely. verify it so, right now. I mean, I know you can't. It looks good on the screen. All right, too. so it looks so, real good on the so screen. So you're going it to just good. ignore ignore this? Just wave that white flag. It looks like a flag. circle with some radius, man. Look, I get it. I see that. I see what it is. You, you're just going to wave that white flag. That proves it. No, you, you just you, just I wave just, that white flag. Just give up. Just not even try to. It doesn't to prove do anything, bro. You made a drawing. You made a drawing. What it does is it is. It disproves the fall, the flat Earth. No, everything you have is CGI. That's all you NASA shills have are drawings and I, CGI. You have I am, nothing I'm real. I am testing flat Earth right here. That's what I'm doing is testing You're flat Earth. You're not testing anything. And, You're and drawing on failed. a screen. And it you failed. You didn't test anything. You live in your computer room, bro. Yes. You don't test nothing. Yep. So you so so you won't You've address the evidence. Thank you for that. Now no, this you is not evidence, bro. This you, is this is a this is said, a, some diagram, bro. That's sure, not sure. Evidence. I know, I know. It hurts. It hurts. That's okay. A diagram. So now you have you said that Polaris. What what did you say? Is that it remains fixed directly above the North Pole at all directly times? Directly above at all times. Oh yeah. So do you see this this uh, right here? Yeah, I see this, it. All right. That that's that's this is the night sky. Looking due north, this is the North Celestial Pole. That bright star at the top, that is Polaris. Are right? you? What are you stating? What are you so, trying to so, say? Well, I'm, I'm just, I just, I'm, just, I'm setting this up here so you can see what's going to go happen here. So you have said that Polaris is directly in the center, directly above the North Pole, right? Right in the You're middle. Right. right in the middle. Okay. Well, this is a time lapse. Can you see that going there? You see that Polaris there? is not actually in the center.
This is a time lapse of of Polaris not being in the center. Oops, hold on. Oh, it's CGI that. again. There you okay. Go. I just, no, this was more CGI. I like this that. This is not curve, CGI. Bro. This is this is yeah, taken that was with a lot of CGI, bro. I, I can't trust anything you hey, have, hey, bro. Dickhead. This you. is taken with a refracting telescope. Yeah, it's all CGI from you guys. This is this is taken with the telescope. Just denial doesn't do it. No, this is all taken you guys with have the... is CGI. Y'all don't have any photos. Don't so you, know you that say you know this you is a video. No photos of space. Bro, hey, everybody dickhead. knows every, hey, every sailor, any of you guys hey, that are out dickhead. there that know anything about this boat is a captain, video. Y'all know that the North Star never hey, moves. Dickhead. Every, this every is a video. Who knows anything hey, about navigation hey, dickhead. knows that the this North is... Star never moves, bro. Hey, you are dickhead. just out here on this some is a jokes video tonight, bro. Of, You're out of... here with some straight jokes, man. Are, are you, you not able liar. to listen? You are a liar. Are you a straight deceiver liar, bro? This is a video taken with the telescope. You are the jokest of jokes. You don't have anything. I'm showing you an actual video. Oh, bro, I haven't even gotten to the Antikythera mechanism yet, bro. I'm waiting. I, I yeah, haven't yeah. even come with my knockout right here, punches right here. I'm setting you up. Right here. I'm not here to debate you. I'm here to destroy no, your you're entire here. You're platform. Here to, you're here to get destroyed. You are the joke. Oh, yeah. You are the joke. Let's talk understand about the, this. Let's, let, let's pull out that diagram where this, uh, where you show where you this, show no, no, that this, that a level line is a curved I, line. I'm showing let's you. Let's go back to the, that main survey. No, you're, I know you're trying to you, change a topic because no, you don't no, have no, a response to yeah, this. Yeah, because I want people to see just how you have foolish you are. No response. I want people to, this. to see just how this foolish is Polaris you are. Pull it out. not being in the middle. Now you have said also that out. Polaris never moves. Bro, listen, you can't come with CGI imagery, bro, and expect that to mean anything. That wasn't CGI. Every person knows. Anybody right. who goes out there and does their own research knows Polaris never moves, bro. It Except move. Chris, you can you, say whatever you, said, you want to say. And Chris, you not, said the, the that nautical navigators, almanac, bro, the nautical almanac. Yeah, nobody cares that. about the nautical almanac. Well, you've said you that are all shills. sailors. You've said all that your sailors know. Is all sailors know. Where that was your words. And look at this: sailors who used the nautical almanac in 1850 knew. That the that Polaris was at eighty eight degrees thirty minutes, about a minute or a degree and a half from the center of rotation. Fifty years okay, later, so, so a it was and a half. it was, it yeah, it was a quarter degree closer okay. to the center of okay, rotation. Okay, so explain you that said, within the vortexial. You explain said how we get axial, Chris, orbital, Chris, and no, vortexial no, no. motion Chris, translates claim, into one degree. How does that claim, translate into one degree? Your claim is that no, Polaris is never moves. One, show your me claim, on your model, bro. Show your claim is your Polaris model. never moves. Your claim is Polaris bro, never moves. I'm showing that it moves. You, you guys said are liars. You, you are said liars. that all liars, sailors bro. know that it doesn't move. Bro, this is from the now. sailors' you documentation. Liar. You lie. You have a living. well. Then where is you your evidence supporting it? I'm showing evidence. Demonic, you have bro. denial. Demonic. Where's your evidence? Demonic. Do you have any evidence? Do you have any you evidence? Got no evidence. Chris, you have yet to refute anything I've where said. Where so is far above your your evidence, Chris? Where's your evidence you that Polaris doesn't to? move? Chris, nothing where's your to? evidence? Chris. Bro, every time Chris, lapse video Chris, ever taken, Chris, bro. Chris, we have multiple oh, evidence, bro. It's not oh, even in debate. Here's a time lapse video right now. Yeah, where is your that, evidence, you know Chris? I want all of your viewers to go out there and do your own where research. Where is your evidence, Chris? Freaking website, Chris. And go do Where's your evidence? Chris, where's your evidence? Where's your evidence, Chris? This dude is straight human trash, Where man. is your evidence, Chris? Bro, everyone go out I'm there I'm showing it, evidence. Bro. You have claims. My whole, the whole world is you full of nothing, my evidence, bro. You have nothing, Chris. You're the one that lives in Where CGI is it? land. Come on, Chris. You're Where's your evidence? You're the one that lives in CGI land, bro. You got nothing. Where? You got nothing but CGI. You got nothing. This, we live this in the is, real world, This bro. is a video in the taken. real world, Polaris ain't never moved, man, in the real world. I understand so that. So you've said... You Multiple no, times no, no, so without think. once attempting to provide any evidence. So where's your evidence to bro, support your claim? Bro, there's multiple resources for anyone. Put to it up right now. Go ahead. Help. Multiple I, sources. Put I'm it not, up you know right what? now. I'm not here to convince you. Tim. You're not I, I here to debate. To to You're here to get your butt kicked because you have no evidence. Bro, That's I've what's happening. Got your panties in a you have once because you can't zero me, bro. Because evidence. you know you can't even go into evolution because you know it destroys nothing. your platform. That's why right. you skip right on past all that stuff. You won't go to it. Sure, now go sure. ahead and bring up the surveyor conversation. Go ahead and bring up that diagram. It's a different topic. You, you go right you ahead if, if that's somebody. your topic. No, nah, bring it up, bro. Where you try and show these people that a that a level line is a curve. But line. now look, I look at you this. Try and do that do you see this? To somebody else. I want you to bring it up and try and do it to me. Do you see this? Show me how a level do you line see this? is a curved hey. line. Hey, do you see this? Here's here's Polaris. 
This is a video from Eric Dubay, a still from his video. It says right there, Polaris remains fixed while other the stars rotate 24 hour circles. Exactly what you said. Yet this particular video, this particular time lapse, has that little curve in the middle, which is Polaris, which is not in the center. Uh -oh, it is understood Chris. that Polaris maintains a very minute radius. Okay, but it oh, but it is you not... said it was in the middle and it never moved. Okay, oh, so now you're okay, changing so... your claim. But you're only giving oh, it one degree. But what about see? vortexial motion? Oh, Where, well, show, so me that, show me how that. Show me how that. So cute works. that you got you got you had to change Bro, it. You can see you had to that move it the goalposts when you got embarrassed. Much, oh, that's, that's back not pedal. moving, bro. Love it the back pedal. Awesome. This is Eric Dubay's video, by the way. <laughs> your keep, keep, your Lord on, and man. Savior, Go Eric ahead. Dubay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Says <laughs> you want you want a semantics battle. I'll give it to you. you want it's a not a semantic. Battle. This is a measurement. Yeah, you want a semantics. I'll give you one. You don't one have point any evidence. Tune for semantics. Tune got a point for semantics. I'll give it to him. <laughs> I got. I'll give him one I got point a point. I got every point because I have measurements and you have I, denial. I, I, I got a whiteboard over here. I'll give you a point, but you know, fuck it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> This is this is a this is a slaughter. I almost feel bad for you. All right. Well, you should, uh, if bro, you if bleeding, you have any, you're bleeding bad. You're bleeding all <laughs> yeah. over the place. All right. I want you to bring you, up. You go bring ahead. Up, bring your, your up. turn. Your turn to uh, present you know evidence. I want you to bring up that diagram and I'll go. Bring up the diagram that you brought all up right. for the main. It was a your main turn. surveyor. Start. Go. Your okay, turn no, no, to present on. evidence. Before I start, before I start, I want you to bring up your diagram. You got a diagram that you uh, brought up. Um, it was from some guy claiming to be a surveyor from Maine that didn't uh, want to give his name. Oh, oh, you're gonna. Oh, I'm starting. Okay. Okay. Where should we go here? Let's talk about working models. The main problem with the heliocentric model, I mean, with the with the globe model, is that they don't have a working mechanical model. The reason that they can't do this is because the distances are too vast. If uh, the sun were 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 uh, depicted the size of a P, you still, according to Toon, would not be able uh, to, to actually create a model to make it work. Okay, so my challenge is for any Glover to create a mechanical model showing how something as simple as a sundial can work. Okay, because what you're going to find is, is that a sundial can't work on a moving base. You will never be able to show a sundial to tell time on a moving base. A sundial requires the base to be still and the light source to move around. So Toon, uh, since you're so smart, I'd like for you to, uh, uh, whenever you can, go ahead and, and make me a mechanical model showing uh, 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 a mechanical one, not, a, not, not, some, uh, not something on your, on your uh, CGI land, okay? A mechanical model, because what we have is a mechanical model of our solar system. I'm gonna give you the first computer, the 2000 year old computer. This is the Antikythera mechanism discovered in 1901, okay? This thing was comprised of 27 bronze gears that fit into a, a, an area no bigger than a laptop. This is item number 15,087 in the uh, Museum of Athens, okay? And um, what this, Initially, it was led uh, by this group, by this guy right here, Professor Mike Edmonds, this astronomer. This dude, Forrest, gumped around with this thing for about 20 years, okay? Him and his little team of math magicians, all right? Uh, but the real genius here was Michael Wright, a mechanical engineer who actually had, had figured it out many years prior and actually constructed a working model, okay? And what the Antikythera mechanism was proven to be was a model of our universe, a working model of our universe. The Antikythera mechanism um, was so precise that what it's able to do is predict not only the movements of all celestial bodies, the stars, planets, all of them. It was also able to predict lunar and solar eclipses with extreme precision because they understood the relationship between the numbers 235 and 19, okay? Because what we do know is that while it only takes 27, uh, you know, while it, while it takes 29 uh, and, and a fraction days for the, the, the moon to catch up to the sun, it only takes 27 and a third day for it to catch up or for it to make an actual revolution, 
Okay, so what happens is, is that the, the moon ends up falling behind the sun 10 days each year. Okay, and as this happens, you end up with an offset. All right, now where this all justifies is at the 19 year cycle. At the 19 year cycle, you have exactly 235 lunar months. Now, what this means is that the sun and the moon both move offset to one another, but that they justify every 19 years. Every 19 years, they re-justify. Okay. So understand something that the Greeks were able to not only plot the movements of the heavenly bodies, they were able to determine their distances and mechanize them into gears that they were then able to make into the world's first laptop computer, a completely mechanical device based on the geocentric understanding of our cosmology. Okay, now what does this prove? The first thing it proves is that our cosmology can be explained from a geocentric perspective, and we have a working model to demonstrate the movements of all the heavenly bodies, and it is 2,200 years old. Now, what this also demands is a rewrite of all of your history. Anybody who's even done a 30-minute study into Tartaria, antediluvian technology, or ancient architecture, cymatics, anything like that, you know that evolution is a bust. And our ancient ancestors did not slither out of the primordial ooze. All right. Well, interesting. Um, <clears throat> can you play solitaire on that laptop is a question, I guess. That, I can. That, uh, um... So the Antikythera mechanism is uh, is not an actual geometric model of, of a flat Earth. It's just gears and it predicts uh, rough time frames of, of certain things. But um, I the guess the guy who figured I, it out. This is my turn to to, to respond to you oh, uninterrupted. That's right. We're in that yeah. part. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you did say, and so I'll, I'll, maybe you want to work on this while we're uh, while we're going. Is you did say that the Antikythera mechanism predicts the distances to some things. So maybe you could show no. what that does. Uh, number one. Number two. You could use it to show maybe the uh, the date, time, location of the next ten eclipses. Um, that would be nice. Um, date, time, and location. Date, time, and location. Um, I happen to know that, yeah, that ain't going to work. But yeah, it is it is not an actual geometric model. It is a, simply a, a mathematical model, which is fine, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't plot the locations of things. It doesn't explain the retrograde motion of Mercury or uh, Venus or Mars or anything like that. So... Yes, the location of eclipses. Um, <laughs> it's, just, I, it's just ridiculous that... Oh, it's so funny. <clears throat> um, yeah, it, I mean, it's a, it's a cool machine, but it's... It, uh, and it does compute things, so I guess in that, in that sense you could call it a computer, but it's not... Uh, uh, <laughs> it's not Turing complete, uh, if you want to be... Um, which is something that I would say is necessary for a computer. So I, I, again, uh, you didn't actually present any anything um, or more than just claiming that it is a, a, some sort of a model, but it but it doesn't. It's not actually a geometric model. It's it's not your AE map. It doesn't have anything to. I mean, I'm I'm asking you, and you're, I know you're prepping it. You're gonna def totally get it right. The, the distances to celestial objects that you said it will predict. That I would like to have be the first thing you show. So, um, okay. Um, uh, okay. That, so I'm the done. Anti Go ahead. The anti-Kinter mechanism, uh, and, and I, I'm pretty sure I didn't misspeak, but I may have been misunderstood. The anti-Kinter mechanism does not predict any distances. I said that the Greeks were able to calculate the distances to the heavenly bodies, okay, uh, themselves, and they were able to mechanize them into gears and construct the Antikythera mechanism, which was able to predict lunar and solar eclipses, not only to the day, but down to the hour, and could tell whether the occultation would occur from above or below, 
or and, and the location whether or not it would be red or dark and the location eclipse. did it get the location that it would be seen mm, don't believe so no it did not so it could oh. not predict the 2017 eclipse that went across the united states could it oh yeah it more definitely most definitely would have no it most didn't. definitely would have it did not predict the location that it would be seen and how do you know this you, you just said it oh yeah the location oh yeah of course it's not going to be able to predict the location of where it's going to be seen i'm i'm just telling you what this thing does yeah. okay and and i and i understand that you want to skirt around it because what the claim uh, uh, of science is you guys like to say that we don't have a working model of it's our not, solar system. it's not a model you 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 say that we don't have a working it's, model of it's our cosmology, just, but we do it's, it's just in fact a mechanism to identify repeating model. patterns you guys cannot make a mechanical model because it is so outrageous <laughs> have you have you never heard of actually an, see have you all never of heard of an orrery all Chris, of the i know and they Chris. don't work the oh no orrery is active they all are messed up they none of them work right none of them do I, and I'll and I've seen you say that on your own videos, bro. You know darn good and well that most orries are trash. You know most orries are not even worth the, the right. paper Chris, that they that they right. were Chris, the, on. The Antikythera is not a model. Oh yes, it is. It okay. most definitely is. The, the, and the fact that you would say it's not, it's I'm not a model. Will go Nobody thinks it it's a model. Nobody people claims it's a it model yourself, other man. than Don't you. Don't listen to this moron. It's, Don't listen to this shit. All it does is is predict repeating patterns. That's this it. This is a cartoon, man. <laughs> dude is a cartoon <laughs> laugh bro recover man because you're gonna get yours <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh people are telling you that that their ocd haters, is, be bro, that's all you is are being is bothered haters. your o their ocd is bothered because your tv's crooked <laughs> learn how to live with that feeling man because look what y'all need to understand is that this that this is all real this is no, all real. You, this is really you happening. Presented nothing yet. It's ridiculous. All you've been able to do is laugh, bro. When, you can't even when, meet me on a level, bro. You you can't when, meet me on a level because so, you want to die. You want to dissect math magic. If you want to talk about math magic, bro, you want to bring up uh, the edgy is pseudo sensors. The, the and all orrery that is just math. That's all. We the, deal not the orrery. The edgy is just constants math. Constants only, bro. We only deal in constants. We don't no, deal in theorems no, like you, you guys, bro. Y'all deal in theorems and all that. When no. when will the next lunar eclipse happen, and where will it be seen? Bro, I'm not here to predict eclipses. I know bro. you're not. You can't do it. The flat Earth model has nothing. I'm not. Even, I'm not. A, I don't even predict eclipses just because I can't predict eclipses. Dude, you're the, the one. Model. I mean, you're the one that oh, said you have shill, a model. Bro. You are a. You shill. said you if have I a model. I saw one. You are a shill. Who sponsors you? What are you like a second degree Freemason? You, you, like what you, are you like third degree? Are you still pulling YouTube duty? I'm not. Bro, what, like not. what? What, what's the deal with you, bro? Yeah, go, like, go to the shield card you? when you have no response. Love it. Who's backing so. you, bro? <laughs> like, what are you, Scottish, right? Second degree? Just getting uh, started or something? I'm, I'm not I'm not Scottish, even though uh, people, people do call me Mac Toon. <laughs> what did he whisper in your ear when he brought you out of the coffin? Should I say oh, it? I do, love, I do love the round shadow on the moon that you're showing. Thank you for that. Shoot. Dude, you're shooting yourself in the foot. <laughs> bro, you are so clueless, bro. You're clueless. What causes the eclipse? Oh, you tell me what causes it. It's, yeah, I, the you shadow of the Earth does. You tell me. So how did we get the one that that? So we had one shadow. We had one eclipse that went from west to east, and we had another one that went from east to west. Well, they, Explain that on your helio. They all go model. the same direction. That should never happen. I hate. Go happened. ahead. Go grab. Go grab a VSOP eighty seven. The Should've actual ge the geometric model of the solar system. Never happened, and, bro. And I wasn't you done can't talking. Explain it. You asked me to explain it, and I was explaining it. No, you, ready? you told me to go get you, a camera. You want to hear? No. My goodness, no. VSOP eighty seven is not a camera. It's a geometric model of the solar system. The geometric model of the solar system, known as VSOP eighty seven, predicts the direction of the the shadow of the moon across the Earth. Going that direction, going west to east. That is but the you prediction. you could never have it going the other way. Because, it doesn't. Because, because the sun, we had two, and we had doesn't. two back to back. One, they made a complete perfect X over the United States. One went from east to west. The other went from oh west to gosh, east. Chris. Made a perfect X. Go look at, go do your own research, guys. Go check out the eclipses oh. and how they oh went. My we gosh, had one that is, went from east to west Sir and Lowell. one that went from west to east. Super. And that is impossible on the heliocentric model. Impossible. I'm here to wake you guys up, man. Don't so, listen to this. So dude. how does a lunar eclipse happen this anyway? Garbage, man. So how what what is uh, on the on the screen behind you? What's casting that shadow then? 
It's not casting a shadow, bro. The moon is self-luminating, bro. The moon is self-luminous. The sun is <laughs> lighting up its own self, and the moon is emitting off its own light. Bro, you, you know just, this. Just open up fire on your feet there, man. Just, yeah, just go. Bam, 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 okay. your feet. So let's talk about let's talk about temperature variances in the moonlight. Okay. Let's talk about let's talk about how oh it's God, up to 12 like, degrees. This is Flirt 101. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about temperature variances then. You want to talk about that? No, no. I want you to tell me how, what causes the shadow on the moon? Why does it happen? How the do moon. you predict it? We can predict it. You can't. You have no, no you model. Predict, look, listen, this is not even the point. It okay. is. It is this the point. You claim you have a You're model. Sit here That's the topic of this semantic. particular interaction. No, is you is claiming even, that you have a model a shadow. It is when not, you first of don't. All, you don't even understand what's going on with it. The moon is self luminescent. No, it's not. That's stupid. Okay. The moon is giving off its own you can light. See, That's why you it can is see silver craters and on gold. it. That's see, so they know stupid. this in the occult. See, look, they know this in the occult, which is That's, why I know that you know this so because stupid. I know you're I know you're you're a practitioner. Oh my gosh. Okay. So what they know is that the moon is silver and cold. What no, we know is that the sun's light is hot. What's and the, right, what's the temperature? Is cold. What's the temperature it is of the up moonlight? To 12 degrees hotter. What, what's the temperature in the of moonlight? Shade. In what, what, the shade of the moonlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the temperature of moonlight? Are you going to shut up for a second? <clears throat> Go ahead. Tell me. So, when you are in the direct sunlight, it is up to 12 degrees hotter than it is in the shade. We go to the shade to cool down, do we not? Yeah, and when, and, so and, I, and Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to explain it to you in simple terms that you no, can understand. No, too. you're not. Okay? <laughs> All right? So, we go to the shade to get cool because it's cooler in the shade of the sunlight but what happens is in the moonlight we find it's the exact opposite <laughs> no we, we find that it is up to 12 degrees colder in the direct moonlight <laughs> no, we than don't. it is in the shade okay <laughs> so what this clearly indicates is that the moon is not reflecting light off the sun because the properties of reflection state that it would not change the properties of its reflectant okay so the sun's light would not be changed you're going to tell me then that the moon is absorbing the sun's light, transforming it into cold light, and then spitting it back out a different color? But it's color? not cold. Oh, yes, it is. This is cold. well proven. You can do this with a laser thermometer of your own. I've done this myself plenty of times. You guys go out there you, and do it. You never have controls. But here, what, what, temperature is, tune, what temperature is the moon light? I guarantee Just tell me. you, Tune won't put a Bitcoin challenge on Just, it. He won't put a oh, Bitcoin oh, challenge sure, on sure, that. Oh, sure, sure. Absolutely. Put a Bitcoin challenge on the moonlight temperature. You bet. You bet. I'll put do a boom, that. put a put a Bitcoin, bro. You won't do it. I, I just said I will. That. That, that, I'll do that. That'll be my that. next I'll one. Eat that. If I can prove that it's colder in the right. direct moonlight than it is so, in the shade. So shh, shh, shh. all right. I'm what no, temperature? No, 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 no. What temperature? Yeah, I already said I'm gonna do it, but I'm not gonna do it this minute. So just, just can be, be patient. Proven all that right. The, that the moonlight uh, is all right. that is what, warmer in what the shade. What temperature? What temperature is moonlight? No, I'm not going no no no. It is a very that it's gonna be a variable. You know this. What temperature is moonlight? What temperature? This no 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 no. What temperature is moonlight? Sur we're talking about surface temperatures, okay? We're gonna be talking about surface temperatures. Don't try and don't try and obfuscate the point. Right here. Uh, are you gonna put a Bitcoin challenge that says I, I already can't said prove it? Would. I already said it would. That, what okay, what temperature is moonlight? I'm gonna prove to you. I'm gonna prove to you hush. I'm gonna prove to you that it is colder in the direct moonlight than it is in the yeah, shade. Yeah. But, yeah. You you, you sure and you'll you put Bitcoin to right. say I can't. Absolutely. Right here. Look at this. Right here live, bro. Okay. Okay. Yep. Because yep. you're going to you're gonna eat this one, bro. This is going to be the end of you. Sure. Sure. All right. Here you go. Look at this. What this temperature is moonlight? This is irrelevant to the point. Either put the Bitcoin challenge up or don't. I said I will. I'm not going to okay. do it this so instance. So then let's move on. Well, I'll see you in the field. What temperature? I'll see, you with the, I'll see you when I prove it to you. What temperature is you, moonlight? I'll bring it. I'll bring the proof. Move on. What temperature is moonlight? Irrelevant. Oh Put no! Put the challenge up. Oh no! It's not. Irrelevant. It's right there, right there on the screen. Thank you to Doesn't Mark Visor. I don't care what you got on your screen, this. bro. How many times do I got to tell is, you that? The, I don't believe a, in your CGI. This is a flare. This is a flare camera, an infrared camera that's measuring the temperature of the moon. Nobody cares what you're doing right now, bro. Because we're going to go out and put our hands Fahrenheit. on it in the real world, and we're going to prove it in the and, real world. We're not listening to what you've got on your Nintendo computer right now, bro. All right. No one cares well, about that. There you go. Or your 14,000 so, bot subscribers. Hey, hey. No one cares. Hand wave, hand wave when evidence is presented. Makes sense. There's That's no, all, bro. All, we yeah. have a challenge now. We have a challenge. All we're going right. to prove to you. We're going to prove how much Bitcoin are you going to put on this thing anyway? I'd be, I'd be, do the same. I'll do 10,000. 10,000 in Bitcoin. Woo. I'm glad I'm screen recording this. Receipt taken. Okay. Because we're <laughs> going to go ahead live. and it's... we're going to prove to you 
All right. Mm -hmm. And, and this, sure. your little demonstration right here is not doing anything, I hope you know, because we're going to do this in the real world with real world <laughs> lasers and real world thermometers. Lasers. <laughs> which, which I'm glad I was which, able to get which you law, Which law of thermodynamics is violated that, by Because the I'm idea not going to let you moonlight. at the end of it, bro. We are going to slaughter you over this moonlight thing. Oh, you're so funny. You've got it coming now, man. All right. <clears throat> now you got it coming. Oh, you, just, you just you just you uh, just poked the bear now, bro. You got it coming. You should have did I, that. You spoke I, way too I soon. You may as well go ahead and cash that out on the blockchain I, right what now. What I did is I is I is I I poked the uh, the circus clown. Okay, here it is. <laughs> Maybe uh, so, but you're gonna pay that Bitcoin, or you're gonna be a clown. Too. All right. So here we go. My turn to talk. Present some evidence. So here we go. <clears throat> uh, Samuel Robotham back in his book back in the 1800s wrote that the horizon does not rise to eye level that was his claim or the horizon does he always he said that and uh, he said that if the earth was a sphere it must always drop and he's correct about that and and he said if the earth is a flat plane then the horizon should not drop um it should drop a tiny bit but it's going to be like a a, a minuscule amount that uh, is going to be outside the margin of uh uh, measurement for most devices so if if that's the case then i suppose we should just go test that right see if the horizon does rise or not yeah uh, it was the topic of uh, robotham's experiment number 15 he used a clinometer doesn't really describe his clinometer very well he went to the top of a building in uh um, that's 150 feet above sea level, but he did not describe the measurement the characteristics of this clinometer. Too bad. Um, <clears throat> anyway, at, at the top of that building, the angular dip of the horizon is predicted to be 0.2 degrees. Well, he said that it's a, a, an 18-inch tube, I think, with a string across the, the, the front of it. Margin of error is much larger than 0.2 degrees, probably larger than 2 degrees. But you can test it yourself. I did, in fact. I tested it myself when I was flying back from uh, Alaska in uh, uh, on my on my own. So this is right here. You can see that horizontal line is eye level right there, and below that is that that circly thing. That's the moon, and below below that is the horizon. So the entirety of the moon is below eye level, with the horizon significantly less. Than the moon there's a few others here that we can look at these are these are um here's a good one here let's see we've got right there oh the horizon didn't quite it forgot to rise to eye level um and here is one that is actually measuring it uh the dip right here coming in from Glob globular e epic bikini and he measured it actually to be a dip of 3.3 degrees which is uh which is right in the margin of error what of what we expect for the globe <laughs> now you can also do it from lower elevation if you have a better instrument like a theodolite right here you can do it with a theodolite so here is at an elevation of 21.9 meters about 22 meters high here we have a theodolite right there 90 degrees from zenith now to make sure that there wasn't any collimation errors surveyors use uh they they flip and rotate the telescope and they get the measurement from the other direction 270 degrees which is uh, 90 from zenith again the horizon does not rise to eye level when he does turn it down to the horizon there is a dip every time now he did that 20 times one in each face when he when he got done with uh, that he got his average an average of seven minutes 39 arc seconds of dip of the horizon when the flat earth predicts that it would be zero actually it should be more should be higher than zero because refraction but We'll give, we'll, we'll give a little pass there. And uh, he measured it with, with the known effects of refraction. It confirms the radius of the Earth. So there you go. <clears throat> All right. Your turn. Five minutes.
Yeah, so that was really impressive there, Toon. Uh, you you scribbled some stuff on some graph paper, and you took some pictures and edited them to show curvature, okay? Now, <laughs> I want you to put those pictures back up uh, because what I want you to everybody to notice, uh, if you'll put those back up for me real quick, I want to point something out. Um, that that these are these are using an azimuthal projection, are they not? It's a it's a theodolite. It's not a projection. It's an azimuthal, but it's but it's azimuthal. No, it's it's a theodolite. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Put the picture back up, Tune, because it says it right there on it. It's azimuth. It's an azimuthal system, which presupposes a flat plane. Okay, so stop with the games. Put the oh picture back goodness, up. Oh my goodness, that's a funny one. Put the picture one. back up. Oh yeah yeah. Put the Hold picture on, back this up. is great. Put the picture back up. Put it back up. Because it says it right there. As I got it recorded, and don't worry about it. Uh, it. Put the picture back up on the screen so everybody can see. Okay. Nope. Not right there. Never go. This nope, one. Nope. Keep going. Keep going back. Nope. Nope. The other one. No. Nope. Come on. No, you had not some this other page. Ones, bro. No. The pictures out of the plane. Uh, the pictures out of the the camera part. Out of the airplane. Yeah. Whatever. Just bring back every like picture this? that you just. There we go. Azimuth and bearing. Right there in the middle. There, bro. Yeah. Azimuth and bearing. Azimuth. Presupposes a flat surface. Azimuth are the same things artillery uh, fire uses to to plot their points. They're azimuth. It presupposes a flat surface. Okay, so go out there and do your own research, guys. Like this dude is is a show. Oh my gosh, you, you can see that this horizon is perfectly perfectly flat. Um, the, he's he's got some alteration on here to try and make it look like it doesn't rise to eye level. But what we know is that in that plane is an artificial horizon, which is based. <laughs> on a gyroscope <laughs> the artificial horizon is in fact a gyroscope and it is based on the concept that the plane's wings need to stay level with the horizon as long as the pilot keeps his wings level with the horizon he will <laughs> never hit anything unless it's a mountain you know with the respect to an obstruction of, of elevation he will never hit the ground so long as he keeps the wings at a uh, 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 level with the horizon and that is what the artificial horizon does it's a completely mechanical uh, contraption. There's no electronics whatsoever in the artificial horizon. It is just a gyroscope. Okay. And um, the best that Toon can do is laugh because, because he is a wordsmith and a math magician. Okay. This dude, all he uh, does is, is, is tricks. He does tricks. That is it. He is here for trickery. Okay. That's it. He can't talk on levels of, of anything other than math magic. That's all he wants to do is bore you with radius, degrees, and 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 buck John, whatever the heck is that he was just talking about. Okay. It means nothing. In the real world, we use AutoCAD. In the real world, it's eight inches per mile squared. Everybody knows that. Okay. In the real world, a level line is a straight line. It is not an arc. It's not a curve. He will dodge this. He won't bring that up. I've challenged him several times to bring up that stupid <laughs> diagram so that I can tear it to pieces in front of you guys, but he won't do it. He won't do it because he knows. He knows that that is his weak spot. He knows that you can't bring the problem down to the ground because you want to talk about up in the sky. Let's talk about down on the earth because if you are standing 10 miles apart from another person, okay, if you are 10 miles apart from this other person, in order to draw a straight line between you two, you would have to tunnel underneath the earth. And at the deepest point of that tunnel, it will be 66.6 .6 feet deep if the earth were a sphere. But we observe this nowhere. Nowhere does this happen. Not to mention buildings on protruding upwards on a sphere should not maintain a perfectly parallel situation with one another. The, the problem here, guys, is that science has deceived you into not trusting your God-given senses and not trusting what you experience in the real world. They want you to believe that the, that the rules change when you go subatomic and then they change again on a macro scale. They want you to believe that on, on, a, on a human scale, when you spin something, it flings shit outward. But then they want you to believe that on a macro scale, when you spin it, it pulls things inward. But where's the threshold? This, of course, cannot be answered, okay? Because it doesn't exist. It simply does not exist. Okay, <clears throat> is that you good? 
right. Yeah, azimuth, azimuthal, equidistant, projection. That's our model, bro. Okay, so and in the real world, my point is, is in the real world they use azimuth. So, so do which you think, presupposes a do, flat surface? Do you think that the word azimuth is only used in the in the azimuthal equidistant projection? <laughs> The word azimuth in and of itself is a presupposition of no, a flat it's... plane, my friend. It, that's it, bro. Just because you didn't know that and all you can do is laugh doesn't mean anything. I, I okay, I understand you didn't is. know that. I understand you weren't ready for this. I understand that you weren't prepared for this. Let me just explain I understand you. the best that you got let is give the laugh, bro. Let me give you a free, little free, free education, Chris. Azimuth you are a is mouthpiece just... for the enemy, Chris, bro. Chris. Azimuth is a horizontal angular measurement. That's it. That's all it is. Bro, it's, says it's, you, bro. It's, says it's you, not bro. says me. Says, says you. everybody that says knows you. what an azimuth is. Says you. Azimuths only work on a flat surface, my friend. They it's a horizontal measurement. It presupposes, <laughs> yes, horizontal, which is horizon, horizon, no, straight. No, but you want people to think that that's a word. Curve. Bring up your stupid diagram with the main surveyor already and stop playing. Let's get this thing on because this is what I want to talk about. Let's talk about the curvature. Let's talk about the curve. Let's get it on, bro. Let's get it on, bro. I'm here. I'm going all night with you. You think because the word azimuth is in there. I will go all night with you and tomorrow. Come on. Pull it up. You think that because the word azimuth is in there. You got nothing, bro. Look, I got you leaning on the ropes crying, bro. You're 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 balling up on the ropes, bro. You're balling up, bro, on your own oh YouTube God, channel. I'm gonna came in here and bullied so, you on your own show. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. Yeah, come on, it oh. is dumb because you're a freaking joke. <laughs> so you you just you, you can't even read. You're a joke, you're bro. Like, I'm eating you your lunch nothing. tonight, bro. You, you I'm eating all nothing. your lunch, bro. I'm eating taking your lunch money and everything, bro. You got nothing. You're all a shill. Right. I this was my evidence. Why why did the horizon not rise to ILO? Because you altered the photo, bro. I don't know. I, you don't know. All right. So, so your evidence, you, bro. You your are, evidence. You are a shill, bro. Everybody knows, bro. Everybody knows you can't see the curve of the earth, bro. So every time you pull up a photo showing a curve, we know it's so garbage. Because say, I mean, it's even just all claims. Freaking Tyson no, I don't, knows that you can't see the curve of the earth, bro. No, everybody knows that. No, I Everyone don't know knows why you can't see the curve. I mean, you Everyone asked. Everyone knows you can't see it. You asked to see something by the main surveyor. I didn't ask to see nothing. I want to see. I want you to pull up your diagram where you try to convince the world that a level line is a curved line. Well, I mean, you said you wanted to see something by the main surveyor, so I did. No, see I want to. You know what I'm talking you see, about, I've bro? I've highlighted. Because... I've highlighted right here. Do you see it says the main surveyor? Okay, good, great. Okay. Now you had and a so diagram. I thought. I thought this is what you wanted, so I gave you this. No. That's not what I wanted, bro. I'll draw what I want. You want me to? You want me to? No, uh, no. I just want you. What I'm talking about. I want you to address the evidence I presented. You haven't presented any evidence, right bro. Here. You're presenting. You're presenting. You're presenting it's, a it's picture right on a screen it's about right some alleged experiments you did over the ocean in right Alaska, bro. Dude, get off the gas. This, That's well, not this, proof. All uh, you've done is this laugh, was in, bro. And this mock. was in Maine. You have. You can't even begin to address this evolutionary was in Maine. It theory. Was, you can't even address the fact that your entire uh, model is a freaking theory, bro. It doesn't even meet I mean, the criteria I mean, I guess, of scientific I, method. I guess. I guess. You are not I a guess scientist, you could, if, bro. If you You're just ignore this and a shitty one at that. I mean, just saying. I guess if you ignore this. Right I ignore this, all of this, your shit, bro, this, because you're this, a shill. This measurement. I ignore everything that you say, bro, because you are trash. And and you I think came this, on here to tell you that. And you to think your this face. is in an airplane over Alaska. I don't care where you say it was, bro. You are a liar. So you say you are a straight you no liar. Evidence. All right, here, the coordinates are right here. I mean, you can, you can check to see if this is. Don't worry Alaska. about, it, bro. We're gonna get. Make sure you post that Bitcoin challenge about the moon temperatures because i'm gonna slam you for that bro i'm gonna oh, end right. you i'm gonna end your whole youtube platform over this sure, one, bro. sure of course you will you're done um, oh, except for the bots i know the bots love you uh william this one william williams reset which is in maine not not alaska they're kind of far care, from each bro. other you're, you're I, just i know i know you're, you're anyway you're it was done by the main surveyor so i don't i don't know what you're, you're talking about with around, the main bro. surveyor that you... <laughs> you had a guy on your show claiming to be a surveyor from Maine. Yeah. Would not give his name. It. That's the, the main surveyor right there. Whatever, bro. You're just going to make a his joke. Name right? is, okay, his name ahead. is Jeff. Keep making jokes. His name is Jeff. You won't bring it up because you know you can't win. I, you it's know, on you know, screen. You know you're on the ropes, it's bro. Because on you know. screen. What do you want to see? I want you to convince everyone that a level line is a curved line. Oh, yeah. I want you to convince is... everyone that a level line. Yeah, yeah, I want oh, you yeah. to explain that. 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, <laughs> Explain absolutely. the level line is the current right here, line. All right, there. here you go. Here is uh, from from the uh, <clears throat> the theory and practice of of surveying containing all the instru instructions no, no, requisite no, no, no. for the skillful practices of art. You asked, I'm I'm oh, de God. delivering. Tune, you are right just a here. nightmare, bro. You've got nothing. The true level is a curve conforming to the surface of the earth as the a, true B, level is a G, curve conforming right to the surface of the earth. Okay, so this presupposes that the earth is curved. Well, that's the definition of level. No, that's no. the definition of level. No, no. Uh, level. And, and, is here, a straight line here well no uh the definition according to webster's is having no part higher than another conforming to the curvature Again, of the liquid parts this of is the what Earth's science does surface. guys science changes the definitions in order well, to I mean, fit that, their models when they don't actually work. you're the a, one trying to change the definition I, I, you know what every person in the real world knows it's on screen right now line is a level line is a straight line when we make bridges when we make anything sure a level so, line is a straight line so the wall behind me is 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 straight but it is at level no, it's plumb. Oh, so it's not level. So straight and level are not the same thing. Correct. Okay, good. And, but and level is straight. No, it's not. According to straight I mean, is at not least necessarily the dictionary. level. Straight is not necessarily level, but level is always straight. Um, all right. Well, so here we have uh, from <laughs> from the elementary surveying and introduction to geomatics, thirteenth edition. See right here, this curved line. That is the uh -huh. level line right there. That that's the level line. And um, this is exactly what I wanted you to show. And, pause and it right, right there. there. Pause right it right there. We've there. got we've got yeah, level pause line. Pause it right there. Let's let's elaborate for a second. I want anybody out there who's a machinist, a carpenter, <laughs> an architect, a structural engineer, a mechanical engineer, <laughs> oh any of you who actually do things with your actual hands, <laughs> not like Toon who lives in his freaking basement with his mom. Okay, but actually does anything with their actual hands and i want you to find me up anywhere in the real world where a level surface shows a curve this does not have this is a prime example so, right so here that, so of you how people say, like tune so about how people like tune lie and deceive they bring up junk like this that is a I mean, straight line I mean, it's just that nobody lie, does just that one puts their hands on it of, even of, go ahead and cut of me what, off i already what made my point is. move on bro you're a freaking liar and just, this is another example just goes of how on and it. on i'm exposing you right now okay. so, it goes so go ahead. on Keep and on, on. Give, your, give your bs that, explanation that, that, but what that we level know is a curve is that level is straight bro okay this is how this works in the real world i mean if you had evidence maybe do you have evidence? Bro, do you have we do, I do this every day, bro. I do these levels for a living, bro. This do, is my life. Do you have life. measurements? Do you have measurements? Bro, listen. Don't even don't even get me started. Okay. No, I'm asking. I'm you asking you to get started. To get go started. on. Do you have measurements? You can't address evolutionary theory. Do you have you measurements? You can't address level lines being straight. You can't address the well, horizon I mean, meeting you at eye level. I, I certainly you can't can. address the North Star never moving. You can't address Southern <laughs> Celestial rotations. Oh gosh, you can't. This. You can't address any of this, bro. All you've all done this. is laugh and mock and scoff because that's all you are is a mocker and a oh scoffer. Oh my gosh, Chris. And I'm I, here, bro. You should to stop let you shooting know. yourself in the foot. It's... You can say what you want to say, bro. Over but it doesn't change the fact that you have not been able to rebut one single over, thing over, I have said. And, and I'm going to sit here and keep my foot on your neck over. until you cut me off. Until oh you end this gosh. stream, I'm going to keep my foot on your neck. <laughs> so just keep it going, bro. I'll go all night. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. I mean, I, <laughs> just, it, I have, they, do, they just don't stop. Level is a curve. But you don't have evidence level that it is a isn't. curve, guys. Y'all, y'all remember he said that level is a curve. Level is a curve. And I'm collecting my Bitcoin when I prove the moon temperatures. I hope that, they, I, man, you listen. I'm not going to let you forget this one, Toon. Receipt taken. Receipt taken. Because we're going to show you the moon temperatures are colder in the direct moonlight, bro. And you're not going to pay because you're a hoe and you're a liar and you would never pay. I'm a hoe. Okay. Yeah. Since when? I'm I'm no hoe. I guarantee you are. I guarantee you are. <laughs> I guarantee you, you got go. the finest you got, finest you uh support from from uh from whomever more curves there i'm sure that you take that money and say whatever the hell they tell you to say <laughs> i guess when you have no evidence you just go for the shield card oh, okay got through all of them there um yeah so level is a curve if you have if you disagree then then it's on you to show i that the definition's wrong i suppose no, it's um, on you to show that because in the real world we know that a level line is a straight line, bro. So you say you're the only I mean, idiot that thinks another otherwise. Claim without you're evidence. You're the only. You're the only one that thinks otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> only the people who live in their live in their computer oh. rooms <clears throat> think otherwise. Hey, is that TV on the wall behind you? Is that level? 
Obviously not. <laughs> is it is it straight? It is straight. Uh, there you go. They're not the same. Okay. Well, that ends that ends the structured format of the part of the evening. And Eddie Reese would like to say a flurf can't tech or a flurf can tech. I'm speechless. Yes. Good job. That I mean, uh, you do have you do have a, a nice presentation there. Let me give you that. <clears throat> um, got some questions from the audience, if if you you don't mind. Sure. All right. Um, Lael, who who is um. Uh, Who's gonna? I think he's gonna quote the Bible here. It says, "And the earth was without form and void in in relation to other rising from chaos." What does "without form and void" mean? That's a good question. Um, and what you read in the in the Genesis account of creation, um, that word uh, in the Hebrew is "tohu vabohu," uh, the uh, vo uh, empty and void. And um, essentially, what it means is just that: is that it, it had no definite shape. Um, what, what the scripture also indicates is that, that the spirit moved over the face of the waters. What we understand in our cosmology is that there are waters above and waters below. All right. And that we are encapsulated in a rakia. This is what, uh, you're going to read in your, in your, right there in the first chapter of Genesis, the, the name for the firmament in Hebrew is rakia. Okay. And what that is describes is a beat down molten surface. Something very, very hard is what this uh, describes. OK, so what we understand in our cosmology is that we are encapsulated uh, in a sealed environment. OK, and this is another issue uh, that science can't explain is how you get gas pressure without a container. We understand how our air is pressurized because we have a container, uh, but you can't uh, explain gas pressure without a container. <laughs> Nonetheless, waters above, waters below with the firmament was the first thing that, that Yahweh made. It says that he, he made an expanse, right? A firmament in the midst of the waters and that let it divide the waters from the waters. Okay. So he made a bubble in the water. So guys, what y'all need to understand is that in regard to the global <laughs> right, model, let's move we on. are dealing with the sphere, but we are not living on the sphere. We are living in the sphere. Okay. There is a sphere in play here, guys. But like I said, we're not living on it. We are living in in it uh -huh. all right <clears throat> so uh next one asks um let's see here to read something we got uh kalina's agility partner for says uh mc tune please ask the flurf what isaiah 40 22 reads says and i'll read it in a second and please ask where the bible says the earth is flat those exact words so isaiah 40 22 says god sits high above the round ball of earth Okay. Um, that is actually, uh, I'm not sure that might be the new international version or some other version in the 1611 KJV. Um, uh, the, uh, flat earth is actually, uh, mentioned in a different book. Now what it says in Isaiah, and this is the end, I'm glad you brought up Isaiah because Isaiah is, is a, is a huge point because there is only, uh, that verse, uh, in Isaiah, it says it is he that sits upon the circle, the round ball of, of earth. earth. No, I, I, no, not round ball, circle. No, it's on screen okay, right now, the round ball. No, no, hold on, hold on, because no, the, whatever, the put it up ball. in the KJV. Bring it up in the 1611 King James Version. Oh, the not, one that the government gave you? Not the international NASB, what, you 1611 want, You KJV. want the government-given version? I want the 1611. That's what all the Christians go by. You no, know? so that's that's uh, the one that the government gave you. I don't care about the government or the 1611 yeah, but the, but to be quite honest with you, but it's you the authoritative one. version in English. So tune, bring it up or don't. It's okay. Well, I have it on screen right because now. You don't, you don't even have a part in this conversation tune. You don't know the first thing about Isaiah. Okay. Oh, so, I mean, listen. I have it on screen right now. What here, he says is that here it says, is he and who sits him, above the circle and of him the earth. Who sits now, on the sphere of the earth. If you will shut up. There's well, I mean, only I'm one reading place. There's only one place in the Bible. All right. There's only one place in the Bible. And he sitteth upon the globe of the earth. Right there. There is it's upon only, the globe of the earth. Huh. Like I said, bring up uh, hmm. the KJV or don't. Okay. I mean, it seems, uh, seems like you're cherry picking your version. I, I'm, I'm going to cherry pick my version. <laughs> I'm going to finish. All right. For right. I'm going to answer the question because it's a good question. Okay. It is he that sits upon the circle of the earth. Now, what I want you to Round understand ball. is that there's only one place in the Bible where the word ball is used. Only one. And I'll give you one guess which book it's in. It's in Isaiah. Okay. So what you need to understand is that Isaiah knew the difference between a circle 
and a sphere because he used the two different words. So go do your word study on that. Don't take my word for it. Do your own yeah, research. Yeah, don't take his word for it. Don't take my word for it. Do Definitely your own research don't. because what you're going to see is that Isaiah uses the word ball in another point in, a, in, in that same book. Um, and he is the only one, okay, that used that word ball and circle. Okay, so Isaiah knew the difference between a ball and a circle, and he specified sure, sure. them. Now, Cause, your cause you're, your you're, yeah, native, native, this, that, native, the other native, native Hebrew, have, um, Hebrew speaker. Uh, just just uh, yesterday, uh, Round Thinker, a native Hebrew speaker, uh, put out a video on uh, on that exact verse uh, included in there. So, well, but I mean, he, that on their own time. I suppose I suppose he wouldn't know because he's just a native Hebrew speaker. You being a not native Hebrew speaker would be definitely the authority on that. Do your own research, bro. Native yeah, speaker I, or I no did. native speaker I, has nothing I, to do with researching, uh, with, with doing Greek and Hebrew, uh, yeah. a word I, research I, study. I did my Whether own, you speak the language research. or not. I mean, you know, whatever, Tim. Get out of here. You don't even have the first thing to say right. about Isaiah. Norman bro, you're, Dixon you're a says, devil worshiper. Chris, as a professional engineer, I will tell you that AutoCAD is, used, is only used for drafting purposes. We use mathematics for actual design. And your point is, we use it in the well, real world. We don't use what we don't use is all of those pseudo calculators that you like to bring up on your whenever your guests uh, uh, argue with you. The, yeah, this, you bring up you bring up some special something that nobody's ever even heard of that nobody uses in the real world. For, for okay? what? For what? Um, yeah, I don't even know the name of it. I'm trying to remember. I was watching one of your stupid videos. I mean, they use AutoCAD. Uh, yeah, no, y'all don't never use AutoCAD because AutoCAD blows your model out of the water. Do AutoCAD you know, makes your model trash. What what is AutoCAD? AutoCAD won't, your model don't work in AutoCAD. What is AutoCAD? AutoCAD is engineering software. Okay, and and how does it blow anything out of the water? It, it's what gives us our three eight inches per mile squared dimensions. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't you think you. I don't think you know what I, I, I have. It. I, Do you want me to pull it up for you? I, I mean, I've seen it. It's the wrong math. Oh, oh, oh you've seen formula. it now. Oh, now you've seen it. Well, I've you seen, it I've seen the claim, the claimed thing about oh, eight inches claim. per mile squared, okay, but it's well, wrong. Then, well, then back off then. You've seen it's the claim. wrong, and it's oh, just oh, it's inputting a formula you, the into right? AutoCAD. Because you're the authority, right, Tim? Yes, you're the I, I can show the derivation. Tim says it's wrong, so it's wrong, right? I can show the derivation of the formula. Oh, the derivation of the formula. You, you, do you hear yourself, bro? Yes. Do you hear yourself? Do you know what that means? Do those words make sense to you? Don't. Don't do you, don't do that. Do you know me. how to derive okay. a formula? Does don't that is try, that something don't, you don't know? Don't condescend to, to me, bro. I'm not going to fall absolutely for you. I'm not going to fall for it. You don't know I'm what not a derivation asking, is. I'm not getting into in semantics with you, bro. It's not semantics. The bottom line it's is, deriving a is formula that, that you eight can't inches do. per mile squared is not is the is wrong not in math. debate. Except it's the wrong on math. Tunes channel, you are the only absolutely the wrong math. This is why I say science. Y'all got six or seven or eight or ten different camps y'all are split into, and none of y'all agree on the first detail of anything. None, none of no us. No two experts use agree on anything. Eight inches per mile None square. of your models can coexist. All none you guys do is eight inches per mile square chamber there. for each other. You pass around peer-reviewed articles. Like who gives a damn? Yeah, if well, your I mean, is yeah, I mean, having a having a high bar to to research would be terrible. I know it would destroy flat Earth. Yeah, do your um, own research because these people are lying to you, people. So uh, Kalina's That's agility straight partner, you with a straight face. Kalina's agility partner says, "Tell the flurf to stop putting God in a box. Stop putting God in a box, flurf." There you, you go. Feel how Kalina. you want to feel. Learn uh, how to live with a feeling. <laughs> Cretan Ball says, "This guy sounds like he's giving a book report on a book he didn't read." That's exactly right. He never read Michaels and Morley, and he wants to talk about it. It's so is funny. that a question or a comment? No, no, it's a comment. Uh, let's oh, okay. see. Um, <clears throat> Stephen York says Lipschitz tensor. All this guy's words are nuggets of Lipschitz. Yeah, Lipschitz pseudo tensor. That's you guys' words. I don't believe in that garbage. <laughs> I don't. <know. laughs> Complex. Uh, serial, and you could put it in, uh, by the way, you could put it in AutoCAD. Um, serial 510 says you go get him, Tune. All right, if you, I, I was told to. Chris, I, I have no choice. I was instructed to go get you. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> um, oh, I've got, <clears throat> I've got some others here. We've got uh, Inquisitor Rurik says, fake Christian alert. I wonder if he knows about Ligma. Is there a question here? Or, or, or do, are these, do you, you just going to read about, a bunch of random comments from do your you bot know about subscribers? Ligma? Do you know about Ligma? Ligma balls? 
Barely, yeah. Yeah, I'm um, pretty sure that's where that was going. <laughs> Luke Filewalker says, Math is, quote, Math is too hard for me, so Earth must be flat. Every flat earther ever. Fantastic input. <laughs> and and then uh, Stellarium Celestia said, uh, Hemlo Fleetwood Mactoon. The Earth IQ of your audience is not growing. Earthrise says, Earthrise thinks you're a Poe and that I should call you out. Are you a Poe? No idea what that is. That would be uh, a fake flat earther. Are you a fake flat earther? Yeah, to be honest with you, flat earth is not even a, a word that's in my vocabulary. I subscribe to biblical cosmology is what I teach. Um, flat earth is a pretty, uh, not a very great term. Uh, yeah, to but describe you think, you our think cosmology. it's flat. I mean, I, I guess... There's definitely an infinite plane going on for I, sure. I, yeah, I mean, the flat earthers try to run away from the word flat earth because they know it sounds Yeah, stupid. I know. I see how they do that, too. And, and because it's, eh, we don't like it. But long story short, yeah, there is a plane. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jolene wonders, what's the point of the grand conspiracy? Good, good question. Um, one of the main ones is uh, free energy. If you understood ethereal energy and how and, and harvesting free energy out of the air and how that works, uh, you'd understand why they're selling you energy through uh, copper wires. Uh, another one would be to just simply hide God in plain sight. Okay, what they don't want you to understand is that is that you were created, that you are special, that you have a purpose, that you are powerful. They don't want you to believe any of that. They want you to believe that you are an insignificant piece of dust that came from nowhere <laughs> and is <laughs> nowhere. All right, all right. Creed and Ball says, and he's going to cut I, me off because I, yep, that's exactly yep. what he wants you to believe. He would <laughs> yeah. never want you to believe for one second that you were anything uh, less I would than never stuff. want anybody to get any religious advice from you. Uh, yeah, Creed he would, Ball he says, would never want you to I believe made, that you were anything other I, than scum, I'm, but I'm here to tell you that you are a child he, he, of the Most High. Clearly don't know me. Um, and wonderfully made. And Creed this Ball says, I made my last comment before realizing that he literally had not read it. Lol. Yep. The irony. See who hasn't read the irony. I I love it when flurfs try to debunk Michelson Morley when they've never read it. Um, <clears throat> Luke Firewalker says so. Citing the actual paper from Michelson Morley is somehow no evidence, but a straw man version is. Got a light of flurf. You guys, ch you know what? Because everyone who knows anything knows that history is a lie. And what we know is that you people go through and edit these things, and every ten years or so, the the information oh, is edited. Gets Oh, recycled it's 100 years old and it was edited. What you're reading when, today when was it is not the same thing that was printed 10 years ago. And it's not the same. And that sure, wasn't the same sure, as sure. it was 20 years before. Sure, more so claims. you can't trust these 100-year-old um, almanacs uh, well, that I mean, were made but, by I mean, Freemasons. You, you, you brought it up. Me? You brought it up. These but, were um, made by Freemasons and Nazis. You, all your NASA, all they are is Nazis and Freemasons. 100 years ago? Nazis weird. and Freemasons. Every you, last one of them. You, just you like your, these your, right your here. time frames are a little weird. I guarantee it. He's a Nazi Freemason too. All right, all right. Hessa first says, this guy's going to make you need extra tune shine. <laughs> no yeah. kidding. I'm, yeah, because I'm I, kicking your ass here tonight, I bro. Got, I will. Whew, hold on a second. Let me let me open up. Let me open up another tab. You gotta admit, bro, I can't right believe here. you're not bleeding right here on screen. Where's your where's your goofy little uh cup holder you normally use? That little black little goofy little handle. Where's that at? Oh, the one no, I've been that using already. Put on your tabs. The, the little yeah, that little goofy thing go. right there. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. I'm gonna get me one. <laughs> Colony L3 made it and sent it to me. Um, <laughs> hmm. Philosopher for King Gaming. Good, good point. All right. Um, <clears throat> Brendan uh, Cus Kelly says, I feel sorry for you, MC, because you had to listen to this guy dribble so much crap. I guess that's not a well, question. I guess nobody has any questions. Huh? They just, Hold on, just I'm comments looking, from the, from I'm the looking bots. For, I'm looking just for... Here's one, that, here's, here's one you can, you can ad address. Uh, from Norman Dixon, Chris. Once again, you're incorrect. The North Pole star six thousand year, years ago. Is this a question? Was, just a second. I'm not done. Was Alpha Draconis? It is now Polaris. In the future, it will be Vega. Yeah, I so read I that same peer-reviewed article. I read that shit, but that is just that. It's a peer-reviewed article. It's supposed to move in a couple of Brazilian light years. Long way to go for that. Okay, as far as the past known human history, it hasn't moved. Br Brazilian is not. Uh, it's it's a. 
I know it's a derogatory term I use to describe the numbers that you it, idiots it, talk about. And and light years is also not a unit of time. It's a unit of distance. Did you didn't know? Yeah, that? I know. Sorry, Brazilian sorry. and all that. Those are just Got what it. I do to make Got it. Okay. Uh, uh, Srooz so wants ridiculous. to sit down bargain basement, Mr. Clean. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta Mr. get in here. I, I got a full, I got a full head of hair. What are you talking about? I got a full head. Of I don't hair. know. There's uh, somebody I'm coming up here. Mr. Clean, man. This, this somebody is, coming up here, calling you out control. on that too. In a minute, uh, Luke Fireworker says, "Why take a ludicrous P900 when you can get a decent telescope for the same price? Why not use a telescope?" Uh, actually, what I do want to get is a Santilli telescope. I, I'm really actually uh, interested in getting one of those. Um, um, those things, those are really fascinating. Okay. Um, the Sun Express says every minute 55 children flee Ukraine, utterly terrified their home country. Please keep them in mind. Also, they can't see the Southern Cross from anywhere in Ukraine. Why is that? Angular resolution. <laughs> I know Buzz you know word. what that is, too. Buzzword. Yeah. Oh, you want to see a diagram? Angular resolution means that things would not be crisp; they would be blurry. That's what angular resolution no, means. No, it doesn't mean it will disappear. The, no, the, no, 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 the, the Rayleigh criterion is the, because this is the reason why the sun appears uh, to be split in half on the horizon. Okay, it's the same issue. It's called the Rayleigh criterion. <laughs> okay, show show how uh, the application of it. Go ahead. I can oh, follow. Don't worry. One, I can I, follow uh, along yeah. with the math. Second Second Samuel eleven eleven for the other person uh, is where. Uh, in the original King James Version, you had uh, flat earth actually mentioned by name in 2 Samuel 11, 11 original King James Version. For those of you it's not who believe King in James, but... creation and uh, actually want to look into the Bible, the... Uh, that's there. They're talking about the ground. Um, They're actually just talking about the dirt that the guys are sleeping on that night. But that's well, fine. Here's what we're going to look at. Look All right. at um... Angular resolution. Let's hear it. <laughs> yep. Angular resolution. And, uh, okay. and apply the Rayleigh criterion. Correct. Um, okay. Oh, here, let me pull it on screen. <laughs> <laughs> how, how far is it in Venezuelan light years? <laughs> good question. I like that. That was see, that was a good one, Tune. That was a good joke. That was a good joke. I like that one. That was good. And what what that lake was... might it be near? Okay, so in a nutshell, this is how this is how uh, this is how angular resolution works. All right, the distance, as you can see here, when the camera is not zoomed in with the coin at the edge of the table, you're able to resolve, you're able to resolve the entire thing, okay? As you move the coin back, however, the diffraction limit takes over and you're not able to resolve the entire image, but when you change the angle of resolution, you're able to resolve the image no matter what. What's going on my screen? <laughs> the Rayleigh criterion kicked in. <laughs> That's an example of the Rayleigh criterion right now on the screen. Why is it blurry? I don't know, but that is a perfect demonstration of Rayleigh criterion. Things get blurry. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you for that demonstration. Uh, blurriness is not the Rayleigh criterion, bro. <laughs> Autofocus and the Rayleigh criterion are not the same, my friend. No, Rayleigh criterion causes things that are too small to be blurry. Oh dear. <clears throat> what and, and no, exactly? So they're too small to be blurry, bro. Why do you intentionally obfuscate everything? Like you are, you are just the master of taking a simple concept and turning it into something that uh, that Nikola Tesla couldn't comprehend. Ray, Rayleigh okay, criterion is not just a simple a, concept. An author of confusion, bro, is what you are. You're a complete. Author oh, the of Rayleigh confusion. just for reference, the Rayleigh criterion is not actually that simple. It's pretty complicated. Um, no, it can oh, be uh, understood rather simply, and it can be explained rather simply uh, when you, to, if to you, can, if you know, And this is this is also. It, I want to yes. point something else out too. This is this is the mark of an expert is when you can explain it in terms that everyone can understand. Then you're yeah. an expert. Yeah, but you have to YouTube, get it right. All you do is you're, obfuscate you're things. Bro. All wrong. you do is take the situation and confuse it. You have never clarified anything oh, for geez. anybody. 
anybody who ever has watched any of your of your uh, uh, content has left <laughs> with more questions than they ever came with. Because I mean, you guys offer I mean, you no kind of won't let me. You no kind of won't let me explain things. Everything's a theorem. Everything's hypothetical. Everything's theoretical. And if it all fails, we got the Lipschitz Landau pseudo tensor, right? So, and, I, and that's just how you go because you know that the average person could never wrap their brain around that I, stuff. I, and so you just average roll person over them should be able because to you know you can school. because you're just Man. a little bit smarter than the average person too. And so because you're able to do that, you take full advantage of it and try to shine on people. Okay, but what you're All right. doing All right. is go, deceiving. Go with them. Rayleigh. Come on, Rayleigh Criterion. Focus. I'm, I'm already past that, Focus. bro. I'm you done didn't, with you that. didn't explain it yet. Move on, bro. Move on. I'm already All done right. with Here. you, bro. I'll explain and reduce the go confusion. Ahead. Go ahead and explain right. the Rayleigh so Criterion. Don't, don't interrupt me, though. All right. On oh. the eye charts, on the eye charts, when you look at the eye chart, you got the big letters at the top. You got yeah, progressively smaller. Um, well, why don't your you explain eyes, it simply? Wait, I was explaining it, and then you interrupted. Could you just not interrupt while I'm explaining it? All right. You're so just obfuscating. It, it gets progressively smaller. And when you get below your eye's ability to see the detail, then you cannot make out the letters at the bottom, but you still see that there's a line there. They don't disappear because they're beyond the uh, diffraction limit of your eyes. You but still do they not see them. They disappear bottom up, but they disappear they bottom up. Do, do they not. not no, the line does not disappear. You can still see the line. No, that's at it the did, bottom. No, the object disappears bottom up. I'm I'm explaining it. All right. So no, this is your simple time. Simple point. To, I'm this just is asking. your time to not interrupt. No, it's not my time this to is, not nothing, bro. Because no, I'm so no. We're, I, you we're, wanted we're me to explain it here. and to we're simplify it, I, I, and you I'm, won't I'm let me. I'm making sure I'm with you. I'm making sure you I understand. Won't let let me, me understand. Allow and me to that's understand. That's the problem with flat earthers. They do no, not want to learn. No, the problem here is that you won't let a, a, a single line of a point be made. Okay, you want to just argue semantics along the way because you can't make the point. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. So the bottom line of the the eye chart, as as uh, Eddie Reese is saying, the Snellen chart. Yes, that's correct. Um, uh, it does not disappear just because it's beyond your the diffraction limit. You still see the line. You just cannot make out the details. That's not what we experience in the real world. I'm sorry. Oh, you don't look at eye charts in the real world? Go out and do your own experience. Do your own experiments, people. Oh, my people. gosh. Because what you're going right. to see is that the Rayleigh criterion causes objects to disappear bottom up. No, and don't. that's exactly what you see with the sunset. Needed. It's exactly what you see with boats. It's exactly what you see <laughs> oh with anything gosh. at long distances. <clears throat> Uh, Ian Duff says, should we have a new category of flurf, something like fake gangster flurf, since this guy thinks he's right out of San Andreas? I'm a four-time convicted felon, bro, so I'm just saying. Weird flex. Uh, in Biblical Cosmology, says Lael, it never talks about the pole stars. Chris, why are you talking about pole stars? Excuse me, say it again. Lael says in biblical cosmology, it never talks about the pole stars. Chris, why are you talking about the pole stars? Biblical, first of all, where, where do you get this statement that, that in biblical cosmology, the pole stars are never addressed or the pole star is never addressed? Well, I, 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 I guess that's his claim. And, and if you, you could just disprove well, I'm it. I'm sorry, by, but uh, that's not in scripture cite, anywhere. By citing the verse that does talk about the pole stars. No, I'm saying that there, there is no, there is no, uh, I'm not sure what the question here is. All he the says stars, it never talks about the pole stars in the Bible. So does that mean that the pole star doesn't exist? I, he just says, why are you talking about the pole stars if it's not in the Bible? The stars are in the Bible, sir. All right, there you go, Lael, the stars for the Bible. Caucasian Sensation says, Hey, Chris, using words, numbers, calculations, and formulas, are the words, are the worlds called education? You should look into it, your true top left material. Top left. Maybe 2023 could be your year. It's too late for 2022. But 2023 is a possibility, Chris. Oh, isn't that your little, your little award that you give out? Yeah. Top left? Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I might win one of those. A, a fierce competitor. Uh, Luke Filewalker says, if you don't have an argument, claim CGI instead. All hail to the CGI. That's that's the model of model of science, uh, you guys. That's all, so you, you say. all you guys that believe. All you guys so that you have say. little NASA rocket uh, you know, uh, models like Toon does behind him. You guys right that, that do models of NASA. 
I, I bet all you guys Trigger. want to ride on Bezos's cock rocket too, don't you? I love this. <laughs> Repos <laughs> Repo Sandman says, do his friends call him Thin Diesel? Uh, Stringer News 1 says, see, here, here it comes. You ready? From Stringer News 1, he says, shut up, bald Axel Rose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bald. I is it, but is it, is it, why the always, why always with the bandana? Um, uh, well, um, really the bandana started because I'm a carpenter and I'm always working and it was to, to keep sweat out of my eyes. Um, but then as I kept keeping Torah, as I was started keeping Torah, um, as I've just gone down my spiritual journey, I got to a point where I, I, what I wanted to do was make sure that I was the same person all day, every day, no matter where I went and what I did. And so I more or less adopted a, a uniform and I know um, where I just, I don't wear uh, no letters, symbols uh, or anything like that. Could I just you, keep everything plain. Face, face that just one direction or the other. Why do you shave the side of your beard? I don't. I just don't grow any hair. Oh, okay. Are I have you, no beard. I have one of those Joe Dirt uh, beards. Are you, are you wearing... Um, <laughs> mixed fabrics no i'm not i'm currently oh, wearing all 100 percent uh room 237 i'm not going to read this whole thing this but it says chris looks like the, the kind of guy who'd get uh and then i'm uh, something something for cigarettes not going to read it there a little too <laughs> yeah not for cigarettes too yes uh delco's man says how would i do a simple boolean operation with the two solids in any cad software boolean operation boolean How would you do a simple Boolean operation with two solids in any CAD software? No idea what you're talking about. Well, you're talking about AutoCAD earlier, like AutoCAD, uh, as if you. It's knew, a, like he said, it's a yeah. structural engineering software. It's very simple. You plug in your coordinates, you get what you want. And out of AutoCAD, what we get is for a sphere with a three thousand nine hundred fifty-nine mile radius, you have eight inches per mile squared. That is in feet. Not radiuses, not all these other millimeters, micrometers, yes, and stuff that people don't understand. That's the wrong feet formula, and inches, though. people. Feet and inches. Water right. always Still finds its formula. level. There is yeah, no I... curve. There is no curve. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Damn right, I'm um, right. There is no curve. No, I wasn't saying that you were right. It was somebody in the chat I was saying was right. Um, Mark Wagner says, oh, man, Chris is comedy gold. Chris, you are. Do we have any real questions? I'm looking for them. Oh, here's a good one. Tango. Four, or 44 says, Chris, Pluto was not discovered until 1930. How did the Greeks predict its motion? I thought Pluto wasn't a planet. But he didn't say Pluto was a planet. He said Pluto was not discovered until 1930. How did the Greeks predict its motion? Planet or not, it moves. It's, uh, it, it's, it's, it, listen, asking me how and what the Greeks did 2,000 years ago is, is doesn't mean anything. But you can't well, uh, do away up. with is the fact that the mechanism exists and it accurately depicts the movements of all celestial bodies with precision to perfection mathematical perfection that's what you can't get around you can argue but, you know but just I, because i don't understand said, everything no 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 but just because said it i don't understand the location of does not an mean eclipse. that these <laughs> things do not exist see this is what you guys try to do is you you want to say that just because a person doesn't understand the finer details of something that it simply isn't real okay but, but that is garbage but it can't that do what garbage, you said bro just because a one person doesn't understand everything does not negate the existence of it but this is what you do. Do what you, you said. This is That's how you problem. obfuscate the truth. You change the subject from one thing oh, to the sure. next. Right. You play word Stringer, magic, Stringer word one. sorcery, math magicians, all that garbage. Uh, Stringer News One is wondering uh, about the the uh, anti Catherin laptop, uh, but uh -huh. does it run Crisis? I think it's on Linux. Oh, is it? It's kind of old. Is it? Is it like? Yeah, no, Debian? it's completely mechanical, guys. Is you know it, what? I mean, Debian you guys or, can make a joke all like you heard. want, but what this thing does is it blows your it blows your cosmology out of the water. I know but you it don't doesn't do anything. It, but what I'm hoping is that just one of your listeners is going to go and do their own research. I'm hoping that just one of them, <laughs> they, just they one have, of them, they have. All right, Samantha B says every time Chris starts talking, all I hear is I don't know and math hard because me not understand, as well as derp, derp de derp deep derp something about imaginary BFF. Samantha. We'll see you at the judgment. 
<laughs> Luke Filewalker says, message. Uh, so, let's see. so people modeled the observations on an analog computer. Guess Earth must be flat then, huh? Well, what they can't do is model your model on anything. Well, they did. VSOP 87, I said. Okay, like I said, uh, a uh, mechanical model, sir. Mechanical. We need something mechanical, please. An orrery. And don't give me your oratories because we've already had that conversation. Orrery. Or not re, oratory. Whatever the hell. Orrery. Like I said, it's all it's it's all gobbledygook, bro. It doesn't it doesn't and, exist because it doesn't work. And whether or not it can be modeled physically doesn't change whether or not it's accurate. If the, oh the, yes, it does. It changes accurate. a lot. It changes a lot because if oh, you can't physically okay. model it, if you can't so, physically model it, bro, then it doesn't exist. So you can't physically if you model can't flat physically Earth. Physically model it, it does not exist. So then, where's the physical model for flat Earth? The observable universe. The you, physical model is the Antikythera mechanism. It is no, a geocentric model explaining no, it's all not. the movements of the stars from no, it's a geocentric position with precision, bro. That's no, it's, it. it's a done deal. That is not what it is. That's I understand you're still absolutely in shock. not what the Antikythera is. I understand is. that your mind is blown. I understand that your entire platform is sweeping out from under your feet. Oh, I understand that, bro. So but what you need to get and around so arrogant head, in your wrongness. You need to wrap your brain around the fact is that you're done. You need to wrap your brain around oh, the fact that, that that just because you've got a Rubik's Cube, bro, what does that mean? Flip it around all you want, bro. It doesn't mean a damn thing. Because reality it's, it's is measurable, mechanism. verifiable, and repeatable. It's got to be measurable, verifiable, and repeatable. That's sure, it. None of sure. your stuff even passes We're the scientific criteria, bro. And, and and all the time that you're flipping that Rubik's Cube around, the North Star still hadn't moved. It still has moved. It still it's hadn't moved. It's just a claim. It's still That's... right where it was. Go outside and check it out. You can ever get out of your computer room. Don't... Don't you understand that just saying it doesn't make it true? You have to actually show evidence. Yeah, exactly. For it. I want I want your listeners. I want these people to go out there and look for themselves. No, it's, it's on you. Stop you made the claim. Them. Stop listening to me. Don't listen to me. Don't Good. listen to nothing I say. Absolutely. Go out and I agree. I agree. Go Don't out listen and to verify. Exactly. Fact check. Do the experiments yourself. And tune. I'm coming from my Bitcoin with the moonlight experiment. <laughs> I'm coming from my Bitcoin. I really would prefer sure. Ethereum or XRP, maybe, but. I mean, whatever. you can convert it to whatever you want, I guess, later. Uh, uh, <laughs> it, uh, it it transfers just as easily either I really, way. I really, I, I, you know, I guess maybe Cardano. I'll take some ADA. All right, let's see here. I got to do. There we go. People, people are like, hey. You I bet use... you're holding about a billion Elon, aren't you? You're holding Elon token, aren't you? You're holding Elon token, I, I bet. I have, I have some Shibu Inu. You got some Shiba Inu. I know you got the. I know you got some Elon, don't you? That, I know and, you're an Elon. Man. And I you don't have any. And and Bitcoin. That's it. Those two are all I have right now. Um, <clears throat> okay. Because uh, I mine. I mined it uh, myself in twenty. Uh, starting in twenty eleven. I so, wish I'd gotten into that sooner. Uh, the logical hillbilly says, "Chris, you're killing my OCD. Straighten your TV." I hear you. <laughs> make Sorry. it more. Make it more crooked just for him. I can't. There. I'd have, to, I'd have to do a little bit. I, I'd have to do a whole. I love, I love messing with OCD people. So there you go. Cool. All right. Uh, Eddie Reese says, bingo. Deflection. Michelson Morley, Free Space, Polaris, Never Moves, and Freemasonry Shill. I have not yet gotten bingo, by the way. Um, <laughs> oh, maybe, not yet. I got, maybe. Oh, I got, got the third oh, bingo. Oh, no, wait. Well, hold on. I, I missed... I missed this one, and and at one time I milked it, like I was like begging for, it. and people like you can't do that. So I'm I'm not I'm not gonna show which which one. I'll tell you it's page uh, page twenty three, but um, <clears throat> all right, let's see that that no, no see oh there's that one wandering stars you said, um mm -hmm. you said angular resolution, yeah you got poorly done flat Earth experiments, you got eight inches per mile squared, you got fake. Yeah. Claims without oh. evidence. Uh, firmament. CGI. I mean, we got them all there. All right. Did y'all change any definitions tonight? I'm just checking because I know that that's what happens. All y'all are constantly moving the goalposts. I'm just making sure. Did any definitions change tonight? Yes, you did we try to change the stream. definition of level, but uh, I got, but that's okay. It's, it's a, I, I, we really should, I really should, you know, update this to have, um, you know, redefine the definition of level. Um, 
Caucasian Sensation says, This swaying moron has spent too much time watching MTV and smoking bad drugs. He needs to sue his dealer because he effed him up. Yeah, man, I oh, hear you, bro. Dang. I've been clean. I've been clean since uh, I've been clean for uh, about seven years now. But, you know, at one time you, you were correct, sir. You were correct. I, I've been clean 13 years and I am 13 years old. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, Serena's <laughs> one says, Read a book, Cultural Misappropriation Tupac. <laughs> uh he's called no, actually actually now. i'm not appropriating i'm not appropriating african-americans i'm appropriating jews he he I mean, called you he first stringer is one called you bald axel rose and now you're tupac now i t uh, i now that's going too far with the bald axel rose i'm not bald i'm not bald i am not bald. but what do you think about axel rose i love axel rose okay fine i said it I think. I think Axl Rose is one of the greatest, uh, you know, uh, uh, vocalists of all time. It was one of the only 80s bands that we allowed to successfully transition into the 90s. Um, you know, what yeah. do you mean we allowed? You mean because grunge was? Well, you know, I kind of, yeah, because was... I was part of the grunge movement, I guess. And so I kind of take a little bit of ownership. It's you. Yeah, it was me. I killed glam. I killed, yeah. I killed, I killed uh, Hairspray Rock. That very but bad. we but we but look we kept we kept axel and and guns and roses we kept the cult we kept we kept um who else did we keep we kept uh, metallica of course um and you know, hold on I mean, if you're gonna mention metallica you gotta mention iron maiden megadeth there you go yeah not very, yeah dave mustaine we kept dave mustaine we kept we, we kept we kept the, you know we kept a few of the 80s characters but we but david lee roth he had to go uh he came you know, back winger Winger had to go. Winger, uh, third, know, third string metal. Ugh. Rat had to go. Ooh. No, dude, I love that. <laughs> Cinderella had to go. Yeah, they can go. <laughs> um, how does a woodworker know if a plank has curvature or not? That's a good question. Um, you'd be surprised uh, how much curvature I have to deal with. Um, this was kind of one of the things that you know, it initially even got me set off looking at stuff is because what I do know is that an eighth of an inch over here is a foot on the other side of the room. And so what I recognize is precision. And, um, you know, when we're dealing with, uh, especially when you're dealing with miles and miles and, 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 and distances of this nature, uh, there is no room for variance, you know, a little bit off here is way off over there. And, um, you know, just yep. to answer your question simply. All right. Uh, Kang, 44 says cold light wtf chris do you know what temperature is and what light is hey go get you a laser thermometer at lowe's for 35 dollars. No, that's not the and question go is, check, and do go you check know the what temperature yourself i'm, I'm telling you, you know what temperature how is. they can verify for themselves you can do, do you know what yourself. temperature is i am aware of what temperature is and that's okay. the last rhetorical question i'm going to answer all right uh, Tim Tully says, so a P-1000 is more powerful and accurate than any astronomical observatory like Palomar? Uh, you go be the judge. Uh, I don't have access personally myself to Palomar. I don't have access to Hubble. I don't have access to Lucifer. I don't have access to any Lucifer's of the super... Lucifer's not a telescope. Oh, yes, it is. It's in freaking uh, New Mexico, bro. It's the one the Vatican owns. Go check that out, good, man. Listen. Good, good this job parroting and not, not wants verifying. Wants to shill everything. It's called Lucifer. It's don't, in New Mexico. Don't believe and it's him. Owned by he didn't the check. He didn't Go check. check it out yourself. It exists. Anyways, I don't have access to super computer to you, super telescopes, and neither do you. Okay. <laughs> the best that we do have is the P1000. Okay. No, and that thing, and no. that thing blows any telescope out of the for, water. For when it comes less to money, you can imagery. get a much better telescope. Uh, I'm for sorry. Less uh, money. None of the images even come close to the clarity. <laughs> oh my gosh. The clarity, this the chromatic aberration is terrible. Oh my gosh. The question y'all should be asking is how in the hell is anyone zooming in on something that's supposed to be light years away? It, it that's has the nothing, question that's, you ought to that, be asking. That's a ridiculous yourself. question. All right. No, Steve. it's not. That's a very <clears throat> valid question. How is a store-bought camera zooming in and getting HD clarity on something that's it's, light years away? It has that's nothing, the question oh my gosh, that a that, thinking mind would all be it asking does is right shows now. You don't, oh, not dear. a shill. Okay. You guys, Steve, you guys are here, just here, here. Shill. You're fanboys for uh, Nazis and Freemasons. All right. Yeah, yeah. It, fanboys look all are. all of them all of the masons i know do what they do for money they're not free all the masons <laughs> you know paddled your ass when you joined i 
<laughs> tell you what, I know I have talked to three Freemasons. I won't say who they are, but one of them is a flat earther. Um, another they one invent, is they, they is invented it, the globe, mind you. Hold on, is an anti five G uh, goofball. Um, and another is is a guy I don't talk to much, but he's not he's not either of them. So that's that's all so I know, you from, know from a this. Mason. You know a Mason who's a flat earther, and you think he's yes. a goofball. Uh, the, Do you the have anti, any respect for this man? The, Do you have no. any respect for him whatsoever? Zero. The anti five G guy. The anti five G guy is the goofball. Uh, the the one that's the the flat earther. I have zero respect for him. Why? Uh, Just because he's a flat earther. I'm well. I I I will I will not dox him. Um, and so I won't say any more than, than, because if I said why it would make it clear who he was, my audience would know instantly if I told, if I said why I have zero respect for him. So it's, it burns so much. I'd love to say it, but I can't, I cause you would all know, you, need to, you would all know instantly if I said why, um, why does it matter? He doesn't want me to say, and I will, why does what that. he wants even matter? Because I, I, I'm not going to dox him. Why do you respect him? I thought you had no respect for him. I respect his choice. I don't respect him as a person. He's pretty awful. Yeah, that seems to be the, the pattern with you. But he does not want me to say it, so I won't. <clears throat> so, um, Steve, best, How Steve, do you know he doesn't want you to say it? He told me. To. Did he, he tell asked, you? He asked me. Yes. He asked you not to say anything about yes. him? Yes. So you guys talk regularly? No. When was the last time you spoke? It's been a while. But you've known all this while leading up to this moment that he didn't want you to talk about him. Yes, and I still haven't revealed who he is. Right, but so I don't understand what the big deal is. You don't respect him. You obviously don't care about Freemasons. Are you scared? I have no fear of the, the old man club. Okay, so then uh, go ahead and just spill the beans. No. Why don't you Why don't you have any respect for him? Because I... I I do have enough respect for his privacy that I won't say it. Oh, so now you changed up. Oh, you're changing up. You see the kind of games you like to play? I just played oh your gosh. game on you, bro. Oh my gosh. You see how you see how easy it is? I wanted to just do that real quick, just as an example, to show your oh audience what you do to other people and how easy it is <laughs> for me to do it to you, bro. Your IQ is like 97, bro. Come on. Oh, I can do this cute. With sleep with you. Cute. Oh, I can do this in my sleep it's with like, you, bro. It's, it's, like, it's like if you ordered Wits It from Wish. <laughs> in my sleep with you, bro. In my sleep, I can manipulate you. You're one of the worst, bro. You are a long way from monarch status, bro. You are not ready to be controlling anybody yet. You're not a handler. You're nowhere near a handler. You're not even close to adept yet. It's like, it's like Witsit. You're not even close to adept. It's like Witsit from Wish.com. Yeah. Keep on laughing, bro, because you know that everything you're trying to do right now is failing. Everything you're trying to do right now is failing. <laughs> failing miserably. Miserably failing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Uh, Bra Bra Brainy sent me his message here. This is what he does to recover, y'all. He goes into a laughing fit. This is this is what he does when he's nervous and doesn't know what to say when he's in a corner. He goes into a laughing fit to give himself a chance to recover and you know, and just to kind of make you guys think that he's actually going through some sort of a laughing fit. No, he really laugh just too has hard. no idea okay. what to say. Okay. He is so beat up right now. He's been slapped up one side and down the other in this whole entire show. He hasn't right. had any but for right. anything I've said. Chris. All he's got are these crazy comments from his bot uh, subscribers. So Chris. I'm just like, whatever. What white is causing the moon shadow? Caucasian keeps talking. Oh, hold on. Whatever. What is causing the moon shadow to be, be holding the earth heat in and making it warmer? I have no idea if that was even English. Uh, it did come. It, it. I think the words are a bit uh, out of order, maybe. Uh, Chris, yeah, it sounded a little dyslexic. Chris. I'll read it word for word. Chris Cloud, what is causing the moon shadow be holding the earth heat in and making it warmer? What is causing the the the, the earth moon shadow? shadow? The what's moon causing shadow? the moon shadow? What's causing the moon shadow? Oh, in, in the in the the moon, the cold moonlight ah, experiment that okay. you try to talk about. Right, 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 right. Okay. Simply put, it goes like this. The moon is giving off its own light 
and it is the is not only different from sunlight it's the exact it, opposite know, of sunlight answer. you can think of it as a positive and a negative uh in the sunlight it is up to 12 degrees hotter in the direct moonlight and up to 12 degrees colder in the shade what we find in the moonlight is that it is the exact opposite you will find up to 12 degrees variation between the shade and the direct moonlight um and you You're will right, find Poseidon. that it is colder in the moonlight in the direct moonlight than it is in the shade do this for yourself you're not going to find this verified on anything that tunes got you got to go do this for yourself yeah okay because yep. bear in mind our position here is that you are being lied to my entire claim and i categorically reject all right, all right, everything right, let's, that let's science says because up. you are being lied to you need to go out here and do your own research put your hands on these experiments and do not right, listen to these shill clowns like tune um all right uh, Chris Hoffman says, you can't trick me with your azimuth pit pictures and meth scribbles. Eat more paint. <laughs> yep, you foiled me again. You got I'm some, foiled. Some scribbly foiled. math. Scribbly. Foiled right. me by that comment. That comment just took all the air out of my balloon. Luke Firewalker says, I'm not a native English speaker, and even I know that uh, azimuth almost has nothing to do with the azimuth equidistant projection. Almost? Uh, he's not a native sp speaker. So azimuth has nothing to do with the azimuthal equidistant projection other Almost. than having the same word in it. Which, you know, whatever. Azimuth is a method of, deter of plotting points that is presupposing a flat surface. Azimuths are no, not used not. on a curved surface. No, you would not, not use an not azimuth on a ball. You would not. Go do your own research, it's... people, because Toons is show. Toons going to oh, scoff okay. and mock. All he knows how to do is laugh. And scoff All right, and here, mock. Here's a clarification. You are, the scoffer and here's a mocker. A, hold on. Here's a clarification from Steve6464. Says, could it be oh. that what's causing the shadow is also holding the heat in? Is that a possibility? <laughs> uh, you know, what's causing the shadow is also holding the heat in? Yeah, could it be? Uh, not really sure exactly what uh, what the application is there. Oh, but yeah, here's what problem. here's how this experiment is conducted. Missed. Here's how this experiment you've is already, conducted. You've already gone over it. Ah, 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 ah. No, I'm going to answer the question. This is how the experiment is conducted. It's like, you go you into the country. You do not do this in the city because there's too much to contaminate Wh the Which data. country should we do it in? Ah, ah, ah. Outside, Canada? This, outside, you get away from anything industrial, mil uh, uh, you know, anything, uh, power lines, anything like that. Get out into a desolate area, okay? And you will get greatest results at the full moon, of course. You'll get a wider variation in the temperatures on the full moon than you will on, a say, half moon. But if you go out, what, what I would encourage you to do is, is, is uh, look for natural shadows. Don't create your own. Uh, go go uh, how, how measure the, the light under, measure the, the, the temperature underneath a tree, for example. Just show your oh audience and what you do. And then just move, you know, uh, maybe outside of that shadow 10 or 12 feet and check the surface temperature in the direct moonlight and you will you can find that no matter what type of surface you test this on okay and you will find consistently it is colder in the direct and what's moonlight. your and what's now, your control you, in this experiment farmers have known farmers have never lost well, this chris, knowledge chris what's okay? your what's There's your control people who have never lost this knowledge but but it has been li largely chris, lost chris, on modern what's, society what's the control in this experiment this yourself Huh? What's the control in this experiment? Listen, Tune, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your viewers right now. Yeah, but they want to know what they can go out. They want to know what's the control questions anymore. I'm not what's answering the your questions. I'm not here to answer your questions. You don't know what a control is in an experiment. Is that I'm it? here to spread information. Ooh. And this is how your it's a bit embarrassing. viewers you don't know what can control verify is. this on their own. Yeah, I understand you want to cut me off and you don't want them to hear the things that I have to say. But you brought me on here. You challenged me. I and I'm here. And so exactly, now you're gonna get exactly everything real you paid for. You're gonna get everything you paid for. Don't Every, call oh, me out oh, on hold Facebook. On. Everybody's. I won't come on here. And everybody's kick asking. Your ass all over your own YouTube. Everybody's channel, asking. Bro. I have what's, sat here and bludgeoned you. Hold over on. And everybody's over again. asking. You have what's the not control? Not rebutted one single thing I've said. What's, You've had what's no the control? response whatsoever. What's the control? You've had nothing what's the control? to say except for obvious. What's the control? Everybody's and, asking. And what's the control? Rhetorical questions. Read another Chris, one of your dumbass clients' co uh, comments. Chris, what's the control? I'm not answering any more of your questions. All right, well, too. I'll tell you, in the Bitcoin challenge, the control will be necessary. You don't even know what it is. You will be able to find out once I write it up, though. 
Uh, Stringer News One says, "Take a pill as a muffle, bro." You're gonna make you're gonna make that challenge. This is what you're gonna do. You're not gonna it's just gonna, make it simple. It's you're gonna, gonna include a control. In such a way that it can't be one, just like you did the last it's one. It's going okay, to include a control. You, bro, it's going to be a good experiment. Doesn't matter. We're gonna still prove it, and you're still gonna look stupid, <laughs> but you're still not gonna pay because you're a liar. Does flat Earth attract awful people, or does it make people awful? I guess that's in the eye of the beholder. I think it's some of both is my uh, my guess. Um, Rachbot says, is the flurf on a boat? I'm getting seasick. <laughs> uh, Saltex says, energy. ask him to prove Hi, the energy. magic dome. Can you prove the magic dome? I'm not answering any stupid questions. That's a no. Daryl Jackson says, so you're telling me that the man with the crooked TV is trying to teach me what level is. Once again, not answering stupid questions. Holy smalls, MC Toon is not a hoe, he's a spade. <laughs> he's a jack, or probably a queen. You, you went you went uh, <laughs> you, you went from shovel things into card things, but there's see there's no hoe in cards. I know. But it, it, it's skip, all it's you all skip fair analogies. You, you it's skip all the, fair in love and war. All right. <clears throat> Delco's man says the best part. Is even if Toon is a shill and paid for every word and doesn't say anything about it being correct, it doesn't say anything about be it being incorrect or correct. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the best that you guys can ever do is say, well, I just is... because someone says it doesn't says, and he says that Susa says that that means that it doesn't mean it's nothing. Like you guys are really a joke to even come with something like that. It tells me that you have zero understanding, have done no research. You're probably 15 years old. Sitting in your basement 13. with 13. stacks of cans playing Minecraft. Bro, get off the gas. You haven't even scratched the surface of the subject. <laughs> Inquisitor Rurik says you're a rake. You're not even a hoe. I'm a rake. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Logical Hillbase says from the looks of his headgear, somewhere there's a window washer without a rag. Window washer. <laughs> I hear you, man. Just keep it. You know what? Like I said, man, thick skin, bro. Uh, I've been to I've been to penitentiary four times, bro. You ain't, ain't a, nothing gonna bother that's me. It's a good. All right, here's a good one from Dean Pitts. A real good question. How do you derive the nautical mile? What does this have? To, what does this even matter? What, what what are we relating this to? Well, the the nautical mile is is based on a, uh, some things. It's a distance, uh, right? It's a measure of distance. It, it Can we keep an, it simple and, and say it's, it's a measure of distance? Yeah, but it's is a it a measure of distance? It's a proportion of something. It's a measure of okay, distance. Great. It's a proportion. So it's of a something. measure of distance. Okay, great. So it's a measure of distance. I can understand that. What's your point? How is it derived? What the fuck does that matter? If I know how a nautical mile is derived, does that change the distance of it? Does it <laughs> no. change anything? No, but no, but there's it does no not. way. And so I'm not going to answer your question <laughs> because it doesn't matter. And these are the type of stupid questions oh, that fail. you people ask and think that it All matters. Right. It doesn't mm. matter. You guys are talking in circles like idiots, just intentionally obfuscating things. That's all you guys know how oh, to here, do. Here's a good one from Luke. confusion and ask stupid questions. Uh, come on, bring another one on so I can right. expose Luke, your next uh, right, moron. Right, here, here, here we go. Here we go. Luke Filewalker says the King James Bible, which all Christians You've got go the by. the same three guys talking over and over again, bro. Do you have anybody else, bro, or are we done? Yeah, hold here? on, hold on. I'm he... tired of Luke Skywalker and your white it's power. Filewalker. Yeah, well, Whatever the next one's from somebody else. Oh, really? Uh, it's not yeah. from Caucasian power? Caucasian sensation. Caucasian white power or whatever he is? <laughs> all right. Luke Luke says, the quote, your quote, the King James Bible, which all Christians go by, uh, from you, says, just know most German Christians go with the Martin Luther Bible from 1534 or modern versions, but not King James. Did you know that? What's your point? I think the point is that most Christians... Well, Don't then you'd be the well King familiar James. with the apocrypha. Well, if you're familiar, if you're that familiar, then, sir, then you're familiar with the apocrypha and you know Enoch, Jasher, Jubilees, and then you, you're well familiar with uh, Enoch chapter 70, 71, and 72, <laughs> where we get a tour of the heavens, where all of the heavenly luminaries are described in extreme detail. I I prefer the Silmarillion. No, because you don't know anything. I about prefer this, the right? Silmarillion for a fantasy background. And listen, to uh, don't even universe. try to interject here, bro, because you're out of your league. All right. Uh, you, uh, Mister, whoever ooh. you are, that wants to bring That's up Luke, scripture. Luke Filewalker. You no, know, are you going to shut up, Tim? Because we oh, know you're I'm, not a theologian. I'm helping you. I'm you helping we don't, you. I don't need your help, bro. You are not. You don't know anything about the Bible. 
I don't. Oh. Okay, then. So keep your you, mouth shut you, you in regards you to the most high, you, bro. Show you don't know respect. me, do you? <laughs> you didn't do your background research. Ah. What are you, some kind of freak? No, I didn't do no background on you. All I did was watch a few of your videos just to see what kind of an idiot you were. And I saw real quick what you are. You're an intentional liar, a knowing deceiver, an occult practitioner. Okay? Absolutely. Where did you get this stuff from? Absolutely, oh, bro. I watched your videos. I see oh. what you do. I know how you manipulate people. I know how you bring oh. wires on your channel. I know how you do it, bro. I watched Sure, sure. All right. Are you ready for the next one? You're going to like this next guy. Is it a question or the, some kind of stupid kind of... Uh, <laughs> Hugh Jars Hugh says, Jars. Plent uh, plenty of Christians don't speak English, so King James is irrelevant. It's the it's what the original Hebrew says that matters. P.S. King James was gay. Very good. He was. Um, he was horrible. All right. Yeah, and you're correct. Yeah, you're right. I don't use the King James myself. I, I use the Sefer. Uh, myself because i do subscribe to the hebrew and the greek uh original translation the, the so I, yeah i i only i only bring up the king james for you know for the christians which i'm not one uh me is asking why why is he unable to finish a thought or to allow me to finish a thought or attempt uh to understand difficult math and scientific evidence why am i unable to do this oh i am more than able to do this but i am unwilling to do this because oh. you change the subject too much and too often, and I'm going to point it out every time you do it. Every time you change the subject, I will interrupt you and, and not let you finish your thought because that's what you do. You okay. do that to everyone on your show. And, and so, so I made it my point to come on here tonight and bully you just the way you do the other people on your show. <clears throat> All right. So I hope, I hope uh, that you enjoyed it. Okay. I did thoroughly. It's, it's been very good. I thoroughly uh, X, enjoyed X Penguin 95. X Penguin 95, who maybe or maybe not used to be stationed at Antarctica as uh, with lasers, says Globe does not work in CAD, but he got his eight inches per mile from it. He can't even keep to his own logic. Uh, can't even keep his own logic consistent. Like I said, people go out there and do your own research. If you're even still watching this, I'm I guarantee you that nobody's even going to watch this far. Well, 630 uh, people are currently watching, so... Okay. Those are bots, bro. You know that. Are they? Are you all bots? You if you're a bot, that are put, put a one in the chat commenting. if you're a bot. Hi, <laughs> Jeff Lynn, yeah. Um, okay. Kalina's agility partner... Oh, we got a lot of bots. We got a whole bunch of ones in the chat. A whole bunch of bots coming up now. Now, now they're going to switch uh, accounts. They're going to switch their Chinese bots, right? <laughs> so, so water can't conform to a sphere Earth, but it can conform to a dome. Are we really meant to believe that? That doesn't even make sense. I know it doesn't. That's why we find it funny. Water conforms to the shape of its container, period. It does? Since yep. when? Since forever. Oh, Okay. Great Circle says, I feel we have mistakenly tuned in on Chris's Zoom improv class. <laughs> Maybe so. I mean, you know, you can find me on YouTube. You know, I got a little YouTube channel for my friends. I ain't trying to be a content provider. I'm not out here trying to monetize. I don't need endorsements. I got plenty of money. All um, right. You know. <clears throat> Kang, uh, Kango 44 says, uh, Chris, I use AutoCAD and other 3D design software every day. It's got nothing to do with all your rubbish you're spewing. AutoCAD is modeling software. Exactly. And we're talking about models. So when you're making models, AutoCAD is very useful. And it's the one we use for making models in the real world. Yes, but so you, you need to there. make, you make, so, you know, make you the people right model. You guys don't want to scoff and mock. What you won't do is go out there and put your hands on it. And what you do do is sit in your computer room well, I guess and never I did show, experience did anything in the real world. Show because where anyone who would dare in an go out and, do and it. actually experience this in the real world, I did. you will find very quickly that there is no motion, there is no curvature, and all this time that we've been talking, the North Star still hasn't moved. Still moves. It moves. Still hasn't moved. Uh, Dean Regardless Pitt says, says again, it has not moved and will never move. Dean Pitt says again, how do you calculate the nautical mile? I'm not answering any stupid questions because whether or not I know how to derive a nautical oh. mile does not change 
any properties of the, the nautical mile. The problem, the problem is the nautical miles based on the the globe. Um, so I guess that's kind of it. Um, Rocky Bixby says, "How can he trust CAD when he doesn't understand the C in CAD?" The Jim Henson Company called and they want their Muppet back. Jim Henson Company. Uh, like I said, uh, any any what's any real scene? questions, bro? Or, you know, because I got a scene? fiance I'd like to go hang out with. If we're done with this garbage, because whatever, whatever you're ready. basically got just a bunch of bots, you know, asking what's the C and CAD stand for? Stupid questions. Um, you know, like I said, none of this stuff is really relevant. If you guys uh, want to go out and see what's going on, you can, uh, you know, go out and experience it for yourself. Get a laser thermometer. Go out, try to find the curb. Check the moon temperatures. Uh, you know, get out there and get on top of some tall stuff and see how far yeah. you can see. Go get in a plane. Go get on. Go take a, a mountain I, I did. hike. Go get up on. I already showed you pictures from when I was on a plane. Okay. And, and the horizon did not the rise horizon to eye level. Always meets you at eye level. Always, no, regardless of the moon. His little, I already showed or, it. His little, little pictures he just showed you. Okay, from his alleged plane doesn't. ride. Okay. <laughs> um, all of that uh, doesn't happen in the real world. In the real world. There is no curve. So you just have claims. Okay. Eddie Reese says, this guy literally swallowed the Flurf playbook. Yes. It is just parroting of all of his Papa Flurfs. Who is your Papa Flurf? I don't have a Papa Flurf. Oh. I'm thinking it's, I'm going with Dubai. Dubai? No, yeah, we'll definitely not Dubai. Uh, if I had to, if I had to name, if I had to give a name, um, I would probably say Dave Murphy. Um, Dave Murphy, um, Rob Skiba, oh, gross. David Carrico. Who's David Carrico? Uh, yeah, it's uh, like I said above your pay grade, bro. Above your pay grade. Mm. Um, yeah, there's there's some uh, there's a lot of great researchers out there. Uh, yeah, Dubay is great. You know, Sergeant, whatever guys, it is stuff. I didn't really. I came to this more through a spiritual approach. All right, um, so so Dave Mur <laughs> Murphy. Uh, there you go uh, for Dora or Alex or whoever's going to edit the wiki. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Dave Murphy. Check out his video he did on Macedonian Late Night. Oh, that's uh, terrible. It's about an hour long where he addresses all these things that, that so, you know, Toon doesn't so like So bad, I know. I already watched it. All right, uh, Rubik's Cube Earth says, Chris, you are here for a purpose to make us laugh. Uh, we'll see. J James Scott says, if our religions didn't exist tomorrow... Will it be taught the same way? It's an interesting Religion is what you guys question. are. You guys are the ones that are a religion. You all have prophets, priests, kings, all that. You idolize these people, put them on pedestals, worship them, demonize you those who You don't have prophets them. and priests? In, in, uh, Y'all are real religious, bro. Y'all are real have, religious. You don't have prophets and priests? Who? You. No prophets. Oh yeah, or priests? I got prophets. I uh, know no priests oh. really. But I got prophets. There's no priests. Uh, I'm just saying y'all are y'all are religious, bro. Y'all are very religious. There, you know there's that. no priests in the order of Melchizedek. Hmm, you have read your. Uh, you do know your scriptures, don't you? You might have known a little bit. There's one high priest after the order of mm -hmm. Melchizedek. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's in fact my order. Good job. Yep. Team. All right, Luke Filewalker. Hey, your favorite, Chris. If you want to put nihilistic views in the shoes of atheists. That's a you problem. <laughs> you remind me of Simon Magus, whoever you are. There you go. And you'll Luke, probably die in the same fashion. Mark Beiser, who you saw earlier measuring the temperature of moonlight, says uh, his belief that the Earth is written in is within a sealed sphere, and his belief that the Earth is an infinite plane are contradictory. That's true. No, how not. can there be? How can there be a dome if the plane is infinite? Is it just if a you do you not understand part? electro? Do you don't understand the electromagnetic vortex? You don't understand how <laughs> electromagnetism works, do you? You want to see? You don't know who you're talking to. Oh yeah, no, I know who I'm talking to. I'm exactly who I'm talking to. <laughs> is this not what a Taurus field looks like? <laughs> is this is this a Taurus field? Can we even agree on that? <laughs> yes, you do, but you don't. This have is a Taurus field. Oh my gosh. This, oh, this is, go, this yeah, is go where on. we live. Go on. This is where we live, yeah, sir. Go, go, this is where we live. You, you right go, in here. Girl. All the stars. Oh, do you watch Lindsay Harris? No idea who that is. Oh, uh, yeah. See, Lindsay Harris's model is boobs. He's just a lonely guy who likes to draw boobs. pictures of... Yeah, Lindsay Harris draws pictures of boobs on his whiteboard every day. How did we He's get just, on boobs? Somebody asked if you listen to Lindsay Harris. 
and and that reminded you of boobs. No, Lindsay Harris. If you watch Lindsay Harris, you'll see what what I'm talking about. Every day, the guy, the poor lonely guy, is just like, mm. there it is every time. Um, <clears throat> Dad. that's Lindsay Harris. This is it's his thing. It, it's everybody has their thing. That's yeah, y'all Lindsay's are into weird thing. stuff on this channel, bro. No, it's Lindsay. It's Lindsay's. No, man, her. this is y'all, bro. Hey, I don't bring me into it. This is y'all. Uh, oh, we got we got this. We got Molo Molasses says, I'm a Levite and the earth is a sphere. You're a Levite, bro. Get off the gas. Get off the unless gas. Unless you're a Zadaki, unless you're a Zadaki and Levite, you can cut off. All right. We've got Earth is Life says, uh, what what is the flat earth attached to? Oh, that's a good one. I've never heard the answer to that. Why well, have, if, uh, if you know, if you know anything about scripture, you know that it's uh, firmly set on foundations. Uh, how many? Not sure. Seven. Uh, the there's there's diff the different oh, cosmologies yeah. Uh, yeah. differ. The you know there could be up to there's four Seven. in some. There's you know there, there's four in most. In most of the ancient cosmologies, there's four. All right. Um, but all right, that that's all that fine. Varies. Geist view says if we don't know what's under there. We haven't been down there. We can't. I'm not going to comment on anything. We you yeah. know. All right. All right. Geist view says if the earth, if the surface of the earth is level, according to him, then what is it level to in regards to his hair? The sea. <laughs> it's level to the sea. It's the sea level. <laughs> of course. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> and that's uh, when you realize just how simple some of these concepts are. Yeah. Sea level. Do you have any measurements? Level. Do you have any measurements of, to support level. that? Sea level. Do you have any measurements C to support? <laughs> um, all right. So then, then uh, now I asked you about your hair earlier, hmm. and and then Geist view is is mentioning First Corinthians eleven four says does not the does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long <laughs> hair it is a shame unto him. But if any man seem to be contentious, we shame. have no such custom. Neither do the churches of God. Why don't you go ahead and finish that? If any man seem to be contentious, what's it say after that? I mean, I. It, and just, since you want to quote the just, New Testament, just let's quote, cherry let's, picking. Let's, let's, quote Peter. let's talk about Second picking. Peter, where where Peter goes back into a geography lesson and talks about how the heavens and the earth were before ordained of old, and the earth standing in and out of the water. Okay, uh, he goes back yeah. into a geography lesson as well. All right. Uh, okay. I know you Geist don't so, All right. Chronic Avenger says. But the angular distance between the stars doesn't change due to distance. Rayleigh criterion doesn't apply. There's no expansion is what doesn't apply. But, but the did expanding you know? universe is not proven because there is no di that, there is no variation in the distances of the stars. Nothing has that's expanded in our known topic, history. But it's wrong. Uh, Chronic Avenger says the <laughs> angular wrong, distance wrong. between the stars does not change. Due to is this distance. a question or a statement? Because I'll answer a question, but I'm pretty much yeah. done with all the bullshit. How does statement. the Rayleigh criterion apply? The, the Rayleigh criterion applies to angular resolution. And what okay. this means is, is that when you are, it, it has to do with your viewing height. It has to do with what height you are viewing from. The the, the close, the, the further down. I just need to have a public service announcement. Are, this is all wrong. If right, you're not going to let me answer, then I'm done. Keep, keep going. I you just asked need me to how it applies. Just... Okay, this is the Rayleigh criterion. The Rayleigh criterion and, and angular resolution has to do with the angle of the view, viewage, viewer height, and angle of view. Okay, well, he disagrees, but you can clearly go out and do your own research, and you will find what the Rayleigh criterion yeah. and angular resolution. Go, go to are. hyperphysics this, and read about the Rayleigh criterion. See, it's very this is good. what he does when he knows that he's lost the point. When he loses the point. He let this, and there goes the laughter. That's the next part that he does. It's just this, is what I, this is what I really like to see. The arrogance really of like ignorance. See, I oh. love seeing. I just love it when you just you know when you just hit back up against the ropes and cover up like this. I love that. It's great. It just really oh. makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, the arrogance <laughs> of ignorance is is uh, is something that people we've noticed a while yeah, ago. All right, that's what you see. do when you get beat on your own show, bro. All right, here we have uh, from Geist View. It says using flat Earth geometry and flat trigonometry for a flat earth with a minimum radius of 10,748 miles See, these are more of these describe stupid what will obstruct an object bottom up if the surface is flat and planar with the observer eye level above all obstructions i'll let you take that one too oh well nothing would be obstructed okay great moving right along what's next oh glad you agree all right that was from geist view so thank you to geist view 
Um, <clears throat> Kang044 says, why don't planes disappear bottom up as they fly away from your view? Kang, you've already had three or four stupid ass comments. That's 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 it. I'm done with you, Kang. No more Kango. Um, uh, Kango, I'll I'll answer since he won't because the Earth isn't flat. Norman Dixon says, "Chris, and where there can you I... have it, folks. Tune just let you know that the Earth is not flat, and that is conclusive." There you go, Chris. Where can I buy as a muffins? They sound delicious. <laughs> I'll let you take that one too, Tune. It I I um. I'd prefer as a cupcakes, as long as there's not too much frosting. Um, whew. Aussie bloke eighty seven says Alex lay off the glass Barbie mate. He's he's an Aussie though, so I don't know if that's is is I think Barbie is their name for for like ladies. I, I, maybe it's a maybe it's a. A token up reference. Um, Pacifer, ooh, you ready for this one? Says again, masculine insecurity. <laughs> Opinions oh vary. Gosh. Oh my gosh. Opinions vary. <laughs> Pat in the chat says, Hey, crisscross, I see a swaying when you're going to jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's the extent of my crisscross knowledge. Uh, Aaron Reese says, if objects disappear bottom up, then why are lenses perfectly round instead of requiring additional zoom at the bottom? That's like asking if, if chairs are flat on the seat, why is the table round? I mean, these things have nothing to do with one another. Oh, okay. This is, these are the, most of these questions that you people are asking are tune sponsored questions. Okay. These are the types of stupid the questions, sponsored. which I like to do, which I like to do is ask impossible and ridiculous questions with too many variables to try to get somebody to think and act like they're smart enough to answer it so that you can make them look stupid when they can't, okay? I, I get the game, and it I know works. what it is, and I'm not going to fall for your stupid tricks. I'm not going to answer some stupid uh, hypothetical question with some uh, random information right here on the hip, okay? Because the truth is, is I can't. OK, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I can listen to tune, say your comment and, and I can just deduct that in my head and just do all that math right here right now. That doesn't. No, I can't. But that doesn't change what's real. And that doesn't change the nature of reality. Just because whether or not I can understand it and explain it to you does not change what it is. And the simple fact of the matter is that all this time we've been talking, the North Star still hasn't moved. Except I'm showing on screen. <laughs> That's what I'm showing on screen. <laughs> North right, so what we're seeing here, uh, what, you're, what you're noticing here, people, North is one moves. vector of motion. What we have here is <laughs> but you all just stars said the North Star doesn't move. circles around Polaris. Perfect <laughs> circles, Tim. Why, are they making, why aren't they making vortexial patterns? <laughs> They should not. Um, you said oh, the yeah, North Star should. doesn't no, no, no. move. The heliocentric model says we're engaged in three <laughs> vectors of motion. Yeah. Axial, orbital, and vortexial. That's so how so is funny. it, to Explain so to me funny. how we only observe one vector of motion. Explain to me how what oh. you're showing right now, that's only one vector of motion. That's one vector. Where's the other two? Show them to me, Tune. I showed you in the... No, in no, the show me right now. I'm looking at, I'm looking at your graphic. So tell me, where are the I, other two vectors of motion? I wasn't done explaining it to you. No, I'm at, I don't care what you're answering my I, question. Where I'll are the two it. vectors of motion? I'll explain it. You ready? No. Here, here, here it comes. I'm going to explain it. The second one that you talked about, we can measure using parallax. I, 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 no, no, no. What can you measure with your eyes? I, you can't What can you measure with a camera? You can't measure this... this you can't measure the star parallax with your eyes. You need a, a better instrument That's than right. your eyes. That's and right. This, and this is the problem. You need some special formula. Okay? What you can clearly <laughs> see in the graphic that you are showing is that all stars make perfect circles around Polaris <laughs> year in and which, year out. Which without also fail. That is, is a bit one of a vector problem. of motion only. That's one vector. That is one it's, vector. It's, Not and, three. One. <laughs> 
That is one vector, too. Yeah, it, you can't I, show I, three vectors. Explain to you, you can't the second show one, three vectors. But That's it, what you can't do. Over your head. You over can't head. show three vectors. You got one vector and one vector only. Yeah. And the difference is, is that I can talk a little bit louder than you. Eddie Reese got it. I'm okay. not a, I'm not a so, punk like the rest of some of the guests you've had so you on see here. This, see this circle here. I'm not going to fall. Put your put your uh, magic see, stuff away, see that bro. circle here? I'm not falling now, if, for any of that. If the circle I rebuke is that. off put, go ahead center. Go put that down. Look at that. It's an oval. If you're not. That's angle. That's the angle of view, bro. That's nothing to do exactly, with, the, with the actual. Exactly. Exactly what it is. So if you not, are not orthogonal to the surface of it. You orthogonal bro orthogonal is 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 not even what we're talking about here what we're you, dealing with is one vector of we're dealing with vectors of motion vectors of what, motion did you not know what orthogonal meant yes it's perpendicular in 3d bro i oh, know what orthogonal job. is okay. okay so now but the, the, when the you're not orthogonal is, is to what it, we're talking about is you, vectors it's of an motion. ellipse you see it's an ellipse that's an ellipse when you're not orthogonal it's, it's an ellipse do you see that i understand this the star trails if it were a dome, would be an ellipse unless you're at the North Pole. No. Absolutely not. Well, I mean, it just showed. No, because because what you don't understand is once again, all you have you already understand a vortexial field. Uh, you already understand a magnetic vortex. So what is it? Why is it so hard to understand that the stars are part of that? <laughs> I mean, I explained it and and you wouldn't you wouldn't let me finish. Uh, you know, because, you didn't because wanna, what you, you didn't can't do learn. is show me, is show me on the graphic right now on your screen this time lapse video that you're uh, showing. Uh, what you can never do is demonstrate three vectors of motion for, for sure, all for sure all can, the T in but China, you won't, you all won't the King's forces and all the King's men. You won't you stop cannot talking. show me three vectors of motion in the observable universe. Yeah, you, you will only I, see one vector I, and I'm one trying. vector only. You cannot do three. I'm trying, but you won't even let me talk. No, and, you and, allege and you three. But you can only show one. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can, but but you won't listen long enough. No, you it can't be done. You can't listen long enough for me to explain it to you. Dude, you can't do it. Yeah. I'm looking at your graphic right now. All right. And that's one vector of motion. Exactly. And I was about to explain the other one, but you don't want to hear it. So no, we'll I don't want your explanation. I you, want you to show it to since me. You can't, since you can't uh, listen, you can't be... I don't care about you your parallax and all enough. that other garbage, bro. I you want you to show it to enough. me where we can verify all right. it with first-hand observation. All right. Luke Filewalker first. says, feet and inches only in America, Chris. Meanwhile, keep, what happened? I keep on using what metric. Happened? What, happened? what happened to parallax? Oh, I, you didn't want to hear it. Yeah, so you I'm know, I want to hear, I want to see vectors of motion. I want to see three vectors of motion on your cosmology. I want to see orbital no, you don't. and vortexial. I see you, axial. I'll no, give you it don't. to you. Look, I'm giving you, I'm going to concede right now. I'm going to give you one point and I'm going to say you get one point for axial. I'm going to say, okay, Tim, uh -huh. you're right. You're showing me axial motion. Now show me orbital and show me vortexial. I can clearly see the axial. Okay. I, I could so do show it. Show me the orbital. I, and the I, I could. I could do. I, and what I could do is I could mute you so that I would be able to get the explanation out without being interrupted. Should I do that? Yes or no? Should I mute you so that I can get the explanation out? Because you're too rude. You're too, too disrespectful rude. to let me explain. Yeah, it. I'm doing just like you do. Yeah, I'm doing right. what you do to all your so, guests. Luke Firewalker says feet and inches only in America, Chris. Meanwhile, I keep on using metric. And Kit, here's a new one. Kit nine one ninety says this guy is delusional in the extreme. Absolutely, completely delusional. Has no understanding of anything. Yes, you're right. Jeremy Hollenbach says, <clears throat> uh, Bedelkin orrery is kind of overpowered. I don't know anything about the Bedelkin or orrery, but that be that sounds like a, an interesting one to look at. I'll put that on my list. Thank you for that one, Jeffrey. Is that, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's from a game. See what you did there. All right, Earth is Life says, Space Engine, download it. Uh, tell us why it matches reality 100% of the time, all the time. You don't know? Got it. Um, oh, I thought you muted me. Am I, am I muted? I thought you I muted me. I did not mute you. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. I thought I was muted. Glober Mom says, do you know right now, you and MC Toon are CGI, and when when did you get your Master of Science from Full Sail University? You seem very, very expert. 
Appreciate your expert analysis. <laughs> A full sale university. I love it. All right. I, Glover Mom, I, I what did you get? Three. Three in one in one comment. Very good. Dave Fear says the North Star hasn't moved since the beginning of the stream. I even drove around town and still nothing. Check make ho. Last, last week, the other, <laughs> I played videos from uh, uh, Derek on uh, TikTok who was looking for the moon and drove around town looking for it. <laughs> All right. Mr. QTube, first name, Fat, says this guy is dissing hair metal. He's an idiot. No, he's not dissing hair metal. He knew his no, hair metal. hair metal. Absolutely. I don't know why he didn't love rat. I mean, rat, you can't round and round. Come on. I mean, Twisted Sister, we can get rid of. Did they change her name to Chainsaw? Bill McGuire says, I think I'll be Chris next Halloween. All I will need is a bandana, an unearned swagger, bellig belligerent ignorance, and a belief that everyone is a Satanist. <laughs> You didn't like that one? No? All right. Dave Cernick. This tune. The North Stars moved to Dallas. And yes, they did. How can you have a hockey team in Dallas? That makes no sense. Nothing. Um, Pat in the chat is a new member at, at Newton. Thank you for that, Pat in the chat. Um, and now, all right. So the North Stars was the hockey team in Minnesota. Now they're just called the Stars because Dallas is not North. And now uh, we have the wild. Stephen K or Stephen K says, this guy is an amalgam of every kid in K through 12th grade who claimed to be trained by a new ninjutsu master. Oh, yes. That is it. I mean, he, he got your number there, Chris. Yeah, I got to say, man, the insults are pretty, are pretty, pretty, whew. I'm hurting right now, man. Kit 190 I'm, says I'm, I'm it's bleeding. impressive. Cut me deep. How divorced from reality he is. Zero supporting evidence just claims um rt96 is what do you call the moose the moose shadow on the second moon the meese the, shadow the mouse for plural the, the mouse shadow what do you call the mouse shadow on the on the second moon i have no I idea i don't ever know what that means what's is it, it's a reference to something i'm maybe not getting mr united for the children says the power of his $25 fake gold chain defeats you. Oh, no, you got me. It's silver. I'm sorry. I don't wear gold. It's silver. I'm colorblind. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's purple. Uh, Magellan says, Chris, the cold moonlight nonsense was debunked years ago. Please try to keep up. Hi, MC Toon. Well, I uh, rebunked it uh, just the other day. So, whatever. Uh, oh, what's the control? <laughs> oh, you don't know what a control is. Um... And I'll tell you, the Such challenge will include a control because it's got to be real science, not fake science, pseudo science. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and make it unwinnable. Geist, of course, it is unwinnable. But we're going to go ahead. We're still going to. We're going to demonstrate it though, and we're going to make the first you look law real bad too. I want you to know because we're going to because look, I am going to. We're going to make you look so bad over this, bro. Oh. Because we are going to make you regret the day that you accepted this challenge. I'm so glad I was able to trick you and get you to to speak too fast sure, and get sure. into it because I'm going to get to expose you now. I really love this. I'm really um, excited. Serial 510 says mouse shadow on the second moon is a uh oh my gosh, Mwadib Dune reference. I read Dune years ago. I don't remember that. Sorry. Uh, I sci -fi. Well, I mean you read uh Enoch, which I guess would be fantasy, not sci-fi. Um Geist View says, looking at the moonlight through a telescope eyepiece, will your eye get cold? Looking through a what? Looking through the eyepiece on a telescope, will your eye get cold? I don't know. Well, if it's, if moonlight is makes things cold, then focusing moonlight into your eyeball should freeze your eyeball, right? 
Uh, here's one for you to go look at. If you've ever been through tactical training, one of the things, one of the things, no, I'm talking about the moonlight. When you go through tactical training, what they will teach you is that to increase your night vision, you stare directly into the moonlight by staring directly into the moonlight. You will increase your night. Shut up. Don't do that. Shut the fuck up. Don't do that. This, you will increase your night vision by staring directly into the moonlight. This is in direct opposition to the sunlight. Okay. Tune's going to, going to try to talk over me. Okay. Because he knows that I'm right. Okay, you will increase your night vision by staring into the moonlight, but you will decrease, you will hurt your vision staring into the sun. (laughs) Go out there and test it. Go any snipers, anybody who's been through tactical training, anybody who's not a (laughs) commander like over here. So so the second part, second part then. Go out there and and what you're going to find is that you will dramatically increase your night vision by staring into the moonlight. Come on, smarty guy. This um, is just another te- another with, experiment for you to with, go put your actual hands on. Sure, sure. Okay, with it, with the two the X, I mean, you could do this with the two X Barlow. Will it freeze the eyeball like a magnifying glass with the sunlight gets when uh, gets it hot? I mean, bro, if 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 all if all your listeners are gonna do is sit here and, and throw shots, I mean, are, can we, we're done? I mean, because uh, can't can't. Kago forty four says, Chris, if cold moonlight was a thing, could we not use it in fridges? Could you get like a moonlight light bulb? And then I put swear, Tim, you've got some of the dumbest followers on the earth, man. You've got some of the dumbest <laughs> followers, man. Some of these people have no business breathing air. <laughs> Nicholas Butner says, serious question, Chris. <clears throat> Did you graduate from kindergarten? Early. <laughs> Three is one. Uh, <laughs> this, even Gish is exhausted by this gallop. This has been fun. Like Chris. I said, bro, I'll stomp your oh head into the gosh. floor all night long, bro. That's... I don't care. Chronic Avenger, have you done the experiment without the moon to demonstrate temperature is supposed to be the same? I do like how you detoured to all of your uh, moronic subscribers' comments rather than actually, you know. Oh, this this is a good question. Talking about anything. Remember when I asked, "What's the control?" Let me ask this again. Maybe the "What's the control?" <laughs> might, might help. Have you done the uh, experiment without the moon to demonstrate temperature is supposed to be the same? Yeah, in the sun, it's the opposite. Look, these are stupid questions, man. Look, if you don't got anything intelligent oh, no, that's, to say, that's then the I, I gotta go. I actually have a life. That's fine. You, um, you can that, go that with, whenever go you're ready. With. I'm not. I'm not keeping you here. Um, I mean, I'm basically done, bro. If all you're gonna do is read off the comments of every stupid subscriber and bot yeah. that you've got, bro, then, that, I, then we can just go the ahead and end this receipt taken. And I'm gonna come for that, and we're gonna go ahead and embarrass the crap out of you, and I'm and I'm gonna just sure. go ahead and destroy your platform, bro. Sure, you will. Uh, I look, I look forward to it. Uh, Fantastic. Bring on, bring on the receipt taking. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna prove the moonlight to be cold, and the moon. We're gonna move the moonlight to be the opposite of sunlight. Is what we're gonna do. We're gonna prove Agreed. that the moonlight is the exact <laughs> opposite of sunlight. I'm calling this out right now. Well, this is what we're going to do, people. Sure we're going to prove that the moonlight is the direct opposite of sunlight. And Tune is still not going to pay. All right. Um, Bodie but it's okay face because we understand that Tune is a liar what and about, a shill. What about stars from New Zealand? How come they can't see the North Star? Hey, look, bro. Like I said, we're going to, we have a, we have a, uh, we already have a challenge. What about the here. South Celestial you, Pole? You, you, In the South Pole, the stars the circle around no, it. I tried to bring that up uh, a long time ago, bro. The, the Southern Celestial Rotation disproves your mop. No. <laughs> I already told you. I already told you. We already had this conversation. I mean, you said go it. Ahead and it, laugh and it doesn't mock. mean ahead, that it actually go ahead, does. Go ahead and do whatever you want to do, bro. But, you should, but all you, you should, got is stupid idiot comments at this point. You should point. bottle that in AutoCAD. You a 30-minute segment. On on your moron totally, subscribers, totally model that in AutoCAD. That'd be funny. Have you ever Just used saying, AutoCAD? At this point, all you've got is to read comments, bro, because you got beat up. What version of AutoCAD uh, do you prefer? All you got was slammed, body slammed, thrown against the wall, choked, slapped, everything, bro. You've had nothing. You've had nothing all night long. Nothing. <laughs> oh, look at this. Do you know the name of this now cat? Now you got the cat out. Now you're bringing out the cat, bro. You are stretching, bro. You are so stretching right now. Well, I mean, you are in I mean, my kid brought mode. my kid brought the cat to me. You are in full blown panic mode. Look, Look at, at that. 
You so, have no sweet. idea what to do with yourself and, right and now. She, you want to crawl this. into the floor right she now. She is she is happy to just hang hang out here. You want to do that Homer Simpson right into the freaking bushes right now, mm. man. That's what you. I mean, all right. that's uh, all you got, bro. So I mean, look, you can yeah, go to bed, all right. or all right. we can stay up and do this all night long. Sure, I mean, sure. It, I, you I'm good. I, I'm you were. I'm pretty much done with your stupid subscribers, yeah. bro. I can tell you right now. I mean, that that's all we have left. Is is I'm just gonna keep doing this, and you could if you want to go, then. Then go, and if you want to stay and and entertain us, then that's that's fine too. It's up to you. Well, fair enough. Um, then uh, I get what I came to do. Cretan Bull you. says it's a shame this guy's a carpenter because he's robbing a village of a pretty good idiot. Yeah, precision quality renovations. Go check my stuff out, man. You might like it. He doesn't use he doesn't use any measuring instruments. Just trusts his eyes to do all of his yeah. carpentry. City yeah. Seuss says, Chris, what's the height level of highest level of math you passed? anything oh yeah i'm about to go it's what's the highest real. level of math fun. that you passed oh the highest level of math that i passed and again why would i answer a question that has no relevance on anything that does not mean anything it doesn't change reality it doesn't change a nautical mile it doesn't mm -hmm. change eight inches per mile squared what my education level doesn't mean anything that is a that is a question intended to change the subject away from the facts of the matter and that's what you guys we all know, we all, we know why you're that's avoiding what you it. guys do man that's all you do we know why you're avoiding it and and ask stupid questions so he didn't to try pass. And, and try and get around the so points no math, that you then. can't win you can't win the points bro your your model is a bust evolutionary theory is trash our ancestors did not slither out of primordial ooze you cannot separate evolution and the globe model and you, the North Star still has never moved. So listen, bro, you have you have not been able to rebut a single point that I have made all night long. And with that, okay. my friend, all right, bye, I believe Felicia. You because bye, Felicia. you are absolutely done. Bye, bye, Felicia. You are cooked. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> For him to think. That just making claims over and over again is something. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right. I, I got a few more here to read. Thank you. That's been this has been funny. Um, I do. I got I'm going to do the Lego here the Lego Globe in a little bit. And I and might have John John Snow joining. I uh, oh, he went long. He just wouldn't leave. Uh, woodwork woodwork learner for two pounds says, why do details not matter in your arguments? nothing but claims your claims and as soon as you want to test his claims what's he do he runs away from it plus for king G gaming for five dollars is iru eluvitar sang the song of Aya into existence melkor sold discord in in the song iru made Aya flat melkor made it a globe when he tricked numenor it sounds like silmarillion is it I haven't read it for a couple years, <clears throat> but it definitely sounds like it. Um, David Brock for five dollars says I just changed the ambient settings in my copy of AutoCAD so that the datum is WGS eighty four. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, poor guy. William Foley says Dave Murphy Murphy is his Papa Flurf. What is Chris vaping? Oh, gross. Oh, that's great. Oh. <laughs> um, do you count that as a rage quit, says Luke Filewalker? I probably not. Probably not. I <laughs> we were over the two hours. We were coming towards three. Um oh. if Dave is his papa flurf, I bet he's a sob sit too. That's a good question because he's been in prison, he said. So maybe he doesn't want to go back and he's not going to mess with that nonsense. I don't know. Um, Jeffrey Hollenbeck, Hollenbeck says, what is that can holder? That's from uh, Colony L3. It is a uh, 3D printed can holder and it just clips over the edge there. And then it's got um, like a little holder on the bottom and there you go. Because it's so hard to hold a can of pop, right? Um, 
Oh, you should have asked him if he drinks his own pee. I, yeah. He's on Facebook. Chris Wood, K-R-I-S, or Christopher Wood. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> you could message him. Pat the chat says, hey, Criss Cross, I see you swaying. When are you going to jump, jump? Yeah, I got, I got that one in. <laughs> Astro Geek says, tune, check your Discord DM, sent you an engine, uh, image. Yeah, that's that was this one here. I'll show. Uh, this is from uh, Astro Geek there. And yeah. He said Polaris doesn't move and then admitted that it moves. He's a little confused. Just a bit confused. Um, <clears throat> we've got Grandma Sunshine Dragon. What a great name. Where in the Bible does it say the earth is flat? I've read it many times and never came across that. Loving your brain, <laughs> Mr. Toon. Well, thank you for loving my brain. Uh... Holy Smalls says, this super chat is sponsored by MC2. <laughs> How many accusations did he make? Oh, you're all bots. Um, he said, uh, how many times did he say that he, that all these things that, that I'm apparently working for, um, he's convinced about the Freemasons, but it's such a cop out to, to just like, just go get some evidence. You can't get evidence. Oh, just cop out and and make it make it an empty accusation. I guess that's how you do it. Um, Jane Doe, why does the southern hemisphere have seasons opposite the northern hemisphere? And explain twenty four hours of light versus twenty four hour of hours of dark at the poles. Let me try to channel what he would answer with. He would say it's all fake. There you go. CGI is what he'd say. Um, Serena is one says, is it Wednesday already? Team Skeptic is on a chair. That was not Team Skeptic. <laughs> it's like he, I mean, kind of kind of has a little Team Skeptic thing. If he turns sideways, you might not see him. <laughs> Chloe M. Chris, why are you so devout in your faith in God? Is this my guess is that it has to do with his time in prison. Some people, that's what they find in prison. Maybe that, you know, it's for people often, it's a good thing, helps them not, not to recommit problem crimes. But he seems to have found something way wrong, too. <clears throat> Scott Evans says, I am a pilot. Your remarks about the artificial horizon were absolutely wrong. Water is curved, and VHF limitations easily demonstrate curvature. You are top left. Congrats. Yep. Absolutely top left. Um oh, hold on a second. Hesifer says we've been to space. We're on other planets. Well not people. Come on. Our robots are on other planets. Um <clears throat> Pat in the chat says Chris. Oh darn it, I wanted to get I wanted to say this to him. Crisscross, your view on the shape of the earth is wiggle 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 whack. There you go. That's as good that's as much rapping as you're gonna get out of me. Um, let's see. Rocky Bixby for five Canadian. How do you calculate rafter length over angle or prove something is square by using a three, four, five triangle, which is the hypotenuse without using math or formula or just observe it with your eyes. That's the thing. When, when, when he asked and he didn't want to hear the answer about the three, there's more than three movements of the, the earth through space. He did not want to hear the answer that parallax tells us the the uh, orbital measurements and he also didn't want to hear that that we have measured our movement around the center of the milky way galaxy he just wants to see it with his eyes as if somehow that's an actual thing to to expect that the the only way to, that's allowed to see something is with your eyes for a carpenter, he's a carpenter, he's going to use a tape measure and a level every day. Not just his eyes. The hypocrisy. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> all right, Serial 510, I got that about Dune. Warren Evans for five pounds says, explain how I can stand in South Africa, South America, and Australia. Look due south and see the same stars all the time. And his answer to that would be, 
that he already proved that it doesn't work on a globe somehow reasons bass here or base here which one this is with wish list calling no returns or refunds i love that <laughs> he was Winsit from wish.com oh my gosh all right <laughs> x penguin 95 says uh for five pounds x forces three times active duty do not stare at the moonlight in low light it will ruin any night vision you had and will take 30 minutes to recover yeah i i tried to get that in don't don't i mean who's gonna take his advice he clearly was not very bright um bringer news one so you're saying that moonlight heals sunburn oh that's a good idea and he did not know what a control was. He could not answer that question. But yeah, I'll do that. And nobody will 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 ever submit a uh, submission to it. But yeah, it'll be do the exact same setup on a night with and without the moon. You know, one on full moon, one on cloudy, or one on new moon. Right? And it's the difference between shade and unshade that you're measuring on moon present and the control is difference between shade and no shade moon not present there you go Garris, as a carpenter i'm now sad uh, matt klein at this moment i'm calculating leg length of a compound angle i think math is necessary uh micro raptor says wouldn't a carpenter need to know some basic trigonometry yes yeah, and so his denial of trigonometry is just just hypocrisy. Earth is Life says, wow, we're witnessing the Grand Flurp reset. reset. <laughs> yes. Um, <clears throat> and then Dave Fear says, uh, hold on, let me work this. What does the temp do if the sun and moon are out? Oh, that's a good question. Do it when this... Do it in during the daytime when the moon is out. Shouldn't it make it colder than in the sunlight? Because moonlight plus sunlight is going to be colder. Yeah. No consistencies ever from them. <clears throat> All right. I am going to uh, wrap this up. Sir Little Wolf, can I show him my moon? Sir Little Wolf, if you want to contact Chris privately and show him your moon, I am not going to stop you. Uh, all right. Oh, hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, milk M Malika Mil M Milka Rye says, uh, there you go. Let me grab that. I'll put it up on the screen quick. The uh yeah, I mean he didn't want to actually do like anything real. So here is a, a that's an infrared camera, I su suppose. Right there, and the moon is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Turns out it's not less than zero Kelvin, which would it need to be if it were to be cooling. <clears throat> Uh, <laughs> the dim. please invite him to the server. He's the perfect accessory for Karen. <coughs> Karen would be at Alex, who was on uh, FTFE's last night. Yes. Uh, they, they make a cute couple, I think. Um, yeah, he, he, oh, wow. He didn't want to talk about what would happen if you uh, look through a telescope at the moon. It should freeze your eye, according to him. But it doesn't. Do your own research, he says. But never did. So. Okay. <clears throat> it's 11. So I will, uh, I, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you so much, everybody. I, I wanna, Let me make sure that I didn't miss any. Because um, the member chats don't come in the same interface as I, as I was using. So we've got those two I read. Why kick a moo cow? Remember chat for how does how does day and night work on a flat earth? Well, he was going to say angular resolution and the diffraction limit, which he doesn't understand. 
Um, and then, oh yeah, Mr. Feynman48 says, dude, you seriously don't understand taking a derivative? <coughs> like, take the derivative of x squared plus 1. The answer is 2x. The simple steps in math on what just happened. This is sad. Sorry, man. When I asked him what math he completed, it's clear that high school math was not something he did well at. He's not doing derivatives. He's not touching calculus. He can't do algebra. He can't do trigonometry. He can't do geometry. His math skills are probably right around fifth grade. That's fine. Unless you're trying to claim that everybody that does know how to do math is wrong, then it's a problem. <clears throat> then it's a problem. Eight inches. Hey, freedom units are where it's at, man. Luke Filewalker. Uh, okay. Okay. Pat in the chat is a new member. Got that. All right. That completes the super chats. Thank you so much for that. That. Super generous for that tonight. Um, <clears throat> very, very much fun. Uh, I had no idea exactly how this would go. Uh, I kind of felt that he was going to be pretty, pretty rude. Um, I think that the, uh, the bandana told me. <laughs> another bro, Gaz Allen, another bro. Um, and all he wants to do is talk the usual BS and dance as he pretends to know what he's talking about. An idiot. Yes. So <clears throat> thank you, everybody. Um, the, the, uh, this will send you to the next one. If you want to watch me assemble, a, a Lego globe. So with that, I will wrap this up. I will take a quick Riley and then, uh, see you in a couple minutes. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>